Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Empress Goddess of Healing. I'm so happy the universe allowed us to cross paths. I hope you enjoy the reading. Peace, love, and light. Okay guys, I'll give you a few moments to make your selections. Pile one has the beautiful white pearlized apple with the tarot of the divine. Pile two has the beautiful green Granny Smith apple with the Mystic Monday tarot. Pile three has this luscious red apple with the green witch tarot. And pile four has this beautiful gold apple with the tarot de la Nui. So take a few moments. If you are drawn to more than one pile, go ahead and pick that. And I will meet you over at your pile. Hey, hey, Pile One, welcome to your reading. I'm so happy the universe allowed us to cross paths. So today's reading is about what's next in love for you. So you guys chose this beautiful white pearlized apple. So what's next in love for you is a divine love, a very significant love in your life that is orchestrated by spirit. It's going to be a very pure love mutual love between the two we have the two of cups and the six of cups representing the energy of the overall union so deep mutual love nothing but emotions you guys are going to create fond mem memories together this could be a past life soulmate if not a past life soulmate i believe you guys are going to start off as friends first before you guys like delve in deep the attraction though is going to be there you guys are going to feel the spark and feel the love from the jump i see this little bird someone may also tell you about this person a friend may introduce you to this person but you guys are both going to want to be in a relationship together you both are going to want partnership you both are going to be loyal to each other you're just gonna be so in sync. Do you see how their hands are intertwined together? Their heads are together. You guys are going to be in sync with each other because you guys are mirroring each other right now. You guys are on the same vibration and that's why spirit is bringing you guys together. So over here is gonna represent your energy. Over here is gonna represent their energy and in the middle is gonna represent um, the energy of the union okay so over here pile one you are represented by the dog so you guys are very loyal devoted have unconditional love you know strong faith trustworthy just loving fun loving and so when you are about to meet this person you're going to be in this energy but you may be a little heavy-hearted you could be a little isolated maybe you haven't dated in a while or maybe you don't have a big social circle some type of way you're going to be like in like a a, not a standoffish energy, but um, an isolated energy. And it could be by your choice when you are about to meet this person, okay? Your heart may be a, a little bit heavy because you are going to be almost, I just heard like almost at your last leg. It's like almost when you're about to give up. Pile one <laughs> is when this person's going to come in. I feel like you might have been doing things for a while waiting for something to come and it's about to come so this is the energy that you're going to be in prior to meeting this person and if these energies don't resonate with you and you feel like you're over here then switch and if neither one then you might want to pick another pile okay so over here the person who's coming to you they're going to be in the bull energy and so they're going to be very courageous very determined could be a little stubborn very powerful and could be very wealthy as well even that bulls uh, represent wealth but definitely has a commanding presence in the physical world you're definitely going to notice this person this person definitely commands a room this person is definitely going to stand out to you energy in the middle you guys are represented by the cat you guys are both going to be very curious about each other you guys are definitely going to feel a, a, a passionate spark when you guys meet each other a light bulb is like going to go off between the two of you guys because your souls are going to recognize each other you guys both like your independence okay so again that's why i think it may start off as friendship even though you like your independence you guys still you know like to socialize the other reason why i feel like it's going to start off as friendship first or maybe somebody that you already know 
that may be coming back around or you just don't know um, has feelings for you like that is because cats you know they wait for a little bit before they pounce or they do anything so you guys aren't going to just rush in to this union you guys both know how to uh, tap into yourselves and you guys both know how to tap into your unconscious mind okay so you guys both may have some type of spiritual gifts now these cards right here represent what's going to draw you to the other so you are going to be drawn to this person from some type of celebration now you could either meet this person at a celebration a wedding an open house i believe some of you guys are going to meet this person at an open house or a showing of a house because this car also represents a buying a house a job promotion but i believe somebody's going to be showing a house and the realtor is somebody you're going to get with and if that happens y'all put that in the comments for real because i see that something somebody's going to meet a realtor otherwise the realtor is going to introduce you to the person you're going to be with okay but this card is all about just you put in hard work and it's time to celebrate your wins it's time to sit back and let god bless you it's all and it's also like almost wanting to to give up because again you've been working so hard now it's time for reward okay so some type of celebration you're going to be at or in this energy when you meet this person and that's how you're going to be drawn to this person number six is all about harmony you know friendship again relationship so so that's how you're going to meet this person family function i heard for some of you and again this person you're going to notice this person now the bull this person is going to be drawn to you by your white light and this again could be why you heavy heart and why you've been waiting you you've been on your spiritual path you know pile one you've been trying to do the work okay and angel number 36 is all about focusing on your spirituality so this bull this person is going to see this beautiful white light radiating from you pile one and they're gonna be drawn to you like a moth from a flame look they're gonna be just like that cat just staring just they, they ain't gonna be able to take their eyes off of your pile one okay now look in the middle, the angels. I told you Spirit was guiding this. The angels, and here we have another two. Do you see how we have six over here, six over here, and a two over here, and a two over here? You guys are mirroring each other. So the angels are going to guide this union together. So now, we're going to get into a couple of the decks I created. This is my appeal deck, okay? And we're gonna see what the appeal is going to be for you and the appeal is going to be for them so we can just get a little more information of this person coming into your life but so far power one it looks beautiful and the fact that spirit is guiding it i mean that's just a win-win and then you have like the two of cups and the six of cups i mean that is just beautiful beautiful you guys might even have two kids might even have twins you know just beautiful 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 and this one's gonna be a protector. I'm talking about powerful, stern protector. Absolutely, both are protectors because dogs are protectors too. Both of y'all, y'all mirror each other. I'm trying to tell you, mirror each other. All right, let's go. Clear the energy of this deck. So let's see what the appeal is going to be. I'm gonna do you and then I'll do them. All right, so Spirit, can you tell me what is going to be the appeal that is going to attract pile one to their person and look you are going to like the fact that this person has a lot of options look at that there you are going i told you you this person stands out you are going to like the fact that this person is desired by other people also that this person can express their emotions because that's water and that this person can multitask this is another thing about this card is that they're able to do a lot of different things at one time so options just doesn't have to mean people it could be they could have a whole bunch of businesses you know they just know how to juggle and juggle well come on through spirit look at that there look and they like to have fun look at that they may like to go to the beach okay they may just be very playful with that beach ball but they like to have fun pile one bottom of the deck look in here and they smell good okay I, I, look you gonna notice this person i can't take the energy y'all they're gonna smell good come on through spirit what is going to be the appeal that's going to attract this person to pile one 
duality absolutely working on that spirituality with that white light absolutely they love the fact that you know how to balance you know how to balance your light side and your shadow side so you're a little nice and a little naughty okay you're very positive but you know how you know that negative things come as well and you know how to balance your spirituality with your practicality they like that and for those who like race cars and stuff like that that might be something too come on out what else spirit well uh oh uh oh this one. Some of you guys might be an entertainer, okay? So they could be attracted to you because of that. Or maybe, you know, you just know how to put on a show. Maybe you make them laugh and they just enjoy that. Give me one more, spirit. What else is going to attract them to Pylon? Oh, we got to look at that dazzling. I can't. Dazzling. I cannot with that beautiful white light. Absolutely. I told you they can't take their eyes off you. They can't take their eyes off you, Pile One. And look at that there, dirty. You better stop it, Pile. I told you with that duality, didn't I say a little nice, a little naughty? You better stop it, power one. Look at that there. What's at the bottom of the deck? And elegant. Oh, I got two. Look, this, look. And what's the T? Look at that there. Elegant and what's the tea? Entertaining. Yeah, you be having the tea. They might like the little gossip that you tell them. They might like the story that you tell them. And both of you guys are survivors. So that is going to be the appeal that brings you guys together. I am loving that. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this, they just want all kind of appeals coming. Okay, wait, hold on, person. We're gonna move on to the next one. So this is my under the influence deck I created, okay? So this is gonna let me know what energies are going to influence the union and then we're gonna get some tarot on it and then uh, after I give you some uh, affirmations we're gonna jump into like their characteristics so let's get to know who this person is a little better okay I like their energy clear the energy of this deck all right spirit can I get three energies that could influence this union so this is overall three energies we have look at that there cuddle with me I can't with y'all okay Y'all are just going to love each other. I told y'all, y'all going to be so in sync with each other. Like, I'm telling you, look, you're both going to be blindsided by the love. Just blindsided. Look at these big old goggles, okay? Y'all might meet each other's skin. You're both going to be blindsided by the love. Y'all don't even see it coming because spirit's bringing this together. Look at that there. This is so beautiful. RSVP. Uh, didn't I say an occasion? So again, it could be a special occasion that you guys need, but this RSVP just lets me know that this was destined to be. So warm, fuzzy vibes is what the energy is. You guys are going to be blindsided by this love. It's going to knock you guys off of your feet and everybody around y'all going to be blindsided as well. And this is something divine already set up a date for. That is the RSVP. I cannot y'all. Look, y'all saw me just turn on special invitation you better say it spirit you better stay and look uphill climbing let me tell you about that you could you know what let's pull that out because we can see exactly what that is uphill climb i saw emergency yeah this is something that's going to be coming quickly but uphill climb just can mean with something so beautiful like that there may be some challenges but anything that you know you have there's challenges in life okay Look at that there. Four of Wands when I just picked up the deck and then it fall. That's your car. Hold on, y'all. Okay, I'm back, pile one. Yes, look at that. Four of Wands. Absolutely, absolutely. I believe this could be a twin. Definitely a soulmate. For those who resonate with the twin flame, app so freaking lootly okay but definitely sees marriage this is leading to marriage if you guys believe in marriage it's leading to marriage if you don't believe in the marriage it's definitely leading to a high level commitment and the way you guys both feel about each other i do believe it's leading to marriage now back to that up here climb so there could be some obstacles but you guys are protective of each other you're loyal respectful you guys are going to hold each other down so that is not even a problem okay so let's go ahead clear the energy of this deck get some tear on it real quick and let's see what's going on so spirit with this cuddle with me what's going on with this cuddle with me clarify spirit look at that three of wands three of wands is all about again partnership okay it's all about expansion it's all about growth give me one more spirit look at that with the four of swords absolutely so you know what that is with that cuddle with me oh spirit Oh, you know what that is, y'all? Y'all gonna heal each other with that Four of Swords. Y'all are healing each other. This partnership is going to heal each other. You guys are gonna find so much growth 
and this. Look at this. You see how this person is trying to climb out and escape somewhere? So whatever turmoil, whatever hurt, whatever pain that you guys had from the past, you guys are both going to heal each other. You guys are both going to be able to climb out of that together. Look at this. Knight of Wands, enthusiastic about each other. You guys are going to be brave for each other. So passionate for each other. Here, what's going on with this blindsided? And that could be with that blindsided too. I almost feel like I need to put that over there. Yeah, give me one more on this blind side. But give me one more because you know, knights be fast. Look at this, four of swords. Okay, so what was this? Oh, this was the five of swords. Y'all still healing. This is going to be a union of heal Ling, healing, no sneaky mind games, no deception, okay? That's why y'all so in tune to each other. That's why y'all in this energy because y'all don't lie to each other. Y'all don't need to. Y'all don't need to be bound and tied up together, no. No, not at all. And if you were blind, when you're blindsided, if this is the energy that you were in where you, you know, you were just healing from a heartache and could be you over here, pile one, because this is the heavy heart. So you could have been healing from a heartache, feeling all bound and, you know, wanting to climb out this hole and nope, there go that knight of wands coming in. Give me one more spirit. The Hermits, yeah, y'all both might be alone. You guys both might be on a solo's journey or just not in something very committed when you guys meet each other. And that's gonna be the influence of the relationship, but it's gonna, you guys are gonna be blindsided and when you guys come together, it's just gonna be gorgeous. Spirit, what's this, um, just brought me right back to that four of wands. What's this RSVP, Spirit? Look at that, the High Priestess, a secret that you don't know that Spirit is putting together. Spirit, you better stop it, give me one more. Spirit, listen to your intuition. I just heard spirits guiding you. Look, Ten of Wands, spirit is guiding you guys so you can let go of a burden, let go of any overthinking that has hindered you of, of making you feel like you couldn't get love. Look, this is justice for you guys. Both of you guys have, um, have heavy hearts when you guys come in. Look at this, Eight of Cups. You guys have both walked away from things that you've put too much emotion in. Again, going back to that cuddle with me, this is a union of healing. Spirit, at the bottom of the deck, look at this, the chariot. Absolutely, again, going back to that duality. You guys are gonna find balance with each other. This is something that is moving and progressing forward. Spirit is moving this forward. So have faith, look at this, Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords is about integrity, very logical, decisive, knows how to take action. So you guys are both going to be decisive about each other and you guys are both gonna communicate and you guys are both gonna make a decision. Look at all of that, son. You're gonna make a decision to be together. You guys are gonna make a decision to have a rebirth together. Again, you're going to find balance. Come on through, spirit. Some advice from spirit real quick, and I'm going to get your affirmation, and let's see who this person is, okay? I'm excited for y'all, pile one. It seems like a nice person. And then with the stuff that's influencing the relationship, it was just the cuddle with me, blindsided, and RSVP, it wasn't nothing bad at all. Nothing. I'm telling you, except that, oh, oh, I forgot to clarify the uphill climb. I knew it was one hold up. Spirit, what's going on with that? Oh, and yeah, was it uphill climb and special invitation? Yep. Spirit, what's going on with this special invitation? Eight of Wands, look at that. So some communication is coming about it with the Four of Coins. So it's gonna be come to you. What's the Four of Coins, Spirit? Mm, the message is going to come to you when you let go of attachments, when you let go of the things that you're still stuck on, a pile one, that's making you kind of feel heavy hearted. That's what Spirit said. When you let that go, because look, she's sitting here in the bird's like wing or whatever, holding on to her pentacles. So don't be too attached to an outcome. You're attached to an outcome of maybe who you thought your soulmate could be or who you thought you were supposed to be with. Let that go. Because as soon as you let that go, boom, it's coming in is what Spirit said. What's going on with this uphill climb? spirit what's going on look ace of wands you could feel like it's been an uphill climb to find passion to find love to find a creative spark 
and um no you guys both felt that way that's what it was spirit said but when you guys come together you guys are going to to stop that i told you what no issues up in here look at this the magician you guys are going to manifest so much stuff together you guys are going to create a beautiful reality together look at this whatever rocky turbulent things you guys have had in your life and even if you have rocky turbulent stuff together you guys are always going to be able to press through and persevere you guys are always going to be able to manifest a new beginning always you guys are always going to have this passionate spark okay and that could be part of the uphill climb too because people might be mad look at this king of, of coins this person is coming out as a king of coins i told you this person might be wealthy okay definitely is stable and grounded dependable yes and likes nice things i heard this person likes nice things give me one more Three of coins, look at that. You guys might partner together. You guys might have a business together. And if you do, it's going to be successful. You guys may also be recognized in the public eye for some of you. Okay? So come on now. Let's go ahead and get some advice from Spirit. Spirit, what advice would help Pile 1 um, be on the right vibration? Let go of any attachments that could be preventing them from meeting this beautiful soulmate that you have come in clear the energy of this deck all right look at that there your cards your cards is always jumping hold on can y'all see me hi i always got to show my face up in the dog on camera okay anyway so we have look at this there platinum quartz can you see that it says embrace change didn't i say you got to let go of attachments i hope you can see that so Pile one, you're going to have to embrace change. Look at this. Talk pleasure. Uh, oh, sorry. Take pleasure. You must need to talk pleasure into your life because that's what I was hearing. Take pleasure in the things you do. Sunstone. Look at that beautiful stone. Take pleasure in the things that you do. Yes. You got to get out of this heavy hearted energy if you're in that energy. Pile one. So that you can go ahead and meet this beautiful person. Look at this. Lepidolite. Recall your dreams. Oh, pile one. You may be dreaming about this person. Fear may be telling you some things about this person. Look, Jade, be the bigger person. So if you have had somebody who has hurt you or you're still bitter or resentful for something that's happened, regardless if it's with a person, just certain things in your life, go ahead and let that go. Spirit is trying to bring you something that is beautiful and wonderful. Power one, beautiful and wonderful. So this is just um, my affirmatives deck. I just got this deck, it's so cute. So we're going to get your affirmation and we're going to go ahead and get into these little messages because I'm just... Pile one. Somebody's nervous. That's why I'm all over the place because y'all cars just keep trying to shoot me in the gut. Like, what's that? Okay. Clear the energy of this deck. All right, Spirit, what affirmation is most beneficial for pile one? We have vitality. We get into that solar plexus chakra. Balance that heart chakra too, okay? Get into that confidence and willpower. I am healthy and vital and strong. My radiant love of life fills me with healthy, vital, and strong cells. Each cell is a warrior. Everyone has its own sword and shield. I dare you to try and penetrate my cellular army. Didn't think so, chump. Absolutely, okay? So if you guys are having anything with your health right now, Spirit wants you to, you know, take care of your health. For those that that resonates with, but basically this is a card that's basically saying don't let nothing penetrate your aura field, pile one. Don't let anything come and toxify your body or your spirit or bring you down. Bottom of the deck, story of my life. As I tell myself the story of what's happening in my life, I choose to make it the kind of story where even the tough parts have a sort of inner beauty. It's ultimately a happy story where every character, no matter how wicked, is doing their best. And let me tell you, it'll be worth it when I earn a Pulitzer Prize for the best inner monologue. Absolutely. Didn't I say something about a celebration? It's time to celebrate your wins and your triumphs and even the, the failures and, and the struggles. I want everyone is a teacher. Everyone is a teacher. Every lesson in life is to teach us. We're in a schoolhouse. That's what life is. Okay. So come on, let's go ahead and see what kind of characteristics this person has pile one and then i have my let's get to know each other deck and what you want to know we're gonna get into it okay we're gonna see who this person is i'm curious my dog himself you know all oh, that beautiful energy y'all got going on let's 
see. All right. Clear the energy of this deck. All right, Spirit. Can you tell me some characteristics of this person coming into Pile One's life? They are easygoing. Look at that there. We love that. Easygoing. Oh, yeah. That's one. They are creative. So they like to do things. They may have a creative hobby. Or, again, I told y'all, y'all going to be sparking each other creative, creatively with that uh, Ace of Wands. What else? Spirit. They are a leader. You better tell them they are a leader with this bull energy. I told you they come man in the room. You doggone right. They are a leader. They are friendly. Love that. And with this orange, definitely in touch with their emotions. I told you that. And they are cheerful. I love that. Oh, this one's sticking out too. I I told y'all. Didn't I say that these, this person may be wealthy? I told y'all. I And look at that there. You better stop it over there with your little bull energy. I like this person. They polite and they are persuasive. Oh, snap. Okay. Okay, over there. Bull energy for power one. All right, so let's do, let's get to know each other, okay? Let's see what we can find out with this person. But I love that easy going, you know, love that beautiful energy, okay? That's why they attracted to your white light, pile one, cause they don't like no toxic stuff and they like, come on through, bull energy, love that, okay? And yes, you fun loving with the, the dog energy and they friendly, absolutely, I see it. Absolutely, beautiful. Some of y'all are meeting at a function, I see it. I see it. Somebody, somebody's going to be at a Christmas party. I just saw that. Um, definitely a work function. I saw that. Again, that realtor. I saw that. Somebody's going to be in the park. I just saw that. Oh, my God. I'm telling y'all. Y'all better keep grocery store. I saw y'all. And it's a grocery. It's a grand opening at a grocery store. Y'all better start opening your eyes and pay attention. To think outside the box. Okay. Clear the energy of this day and drop a comment and let me know if it happens like that. Okay. New person coming into Pile One's life. Let's get to know each other. What would you like to tell Pile One? I am a fire sign. I am an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So they could have Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius somewhere in their chart if they are not the fire sign of the sun or they just exude a lot of passion. They are career focused absolutely with the wealthy and the creative and the bull energy determined career focus and i don't think that this person is going to be the workaholic even though they are represented as the king of pentacles i think that's just dependable and practical conservative you know i don't think they're going to be a workaholic given that with that two of cups and um the six of cups how intertwined you guys are this person is going to make time for you trust and believe all right what else would you like to tell how one person how else can we get to know you uh, well mannered yes with the polite well mannered so make sure you know when you guys are with this person you know that you guys are well mannered too because this person likes that look at that and they are fashionista whether, whether masculine or feminine they like to dress I, didn't I say they like nice things give me one more they're not a very serious person. I love that though. I love that even though they're represented as that bull, they're very determined, but see, maybe that's why they like that you're an entertainer. Remember that? That they like that because they're not very serious and they have dark skin. And they their motto is you think it, you can achieve it. You better say it over there with that bull energy. That's why that bull wealthy, you better manifest. That's why y'all represented with the wands and uh, I can't even find the cards. There's so many cards out here right now. The wands and the magician, you better say it. Y'all gonna be a powerful couple. Powerful couple, power one. Oh, this is going to be you tough. Oh. All right. So this is my what you want to know deck. And let's just see if we can get a little bit more of what's going on with this person. I'm going to get y'all out of here. My tops keep coming off. All right. Let's see. Try to make the decks keep clear the energy of this deck. All right, person. We want to know more about you. So tell us more. Tell us more. Your secrets are safe with me. So this is a person who's very trustworthy, like I said before. Someone when you guys have pillow talk is not going to run and tell your business. Someone who is also not going to throw the things that you tell them up in your face at a later date. Forget that. 
I get a lot of attention. So they want you to know, again, with that option, you're going to be attracted to them because of those options. They want you to know that they do get a lot of attention. If they are wealthy and they're in this commanding energy out and easygoing and polite and career focused and all that, absolutely, they get a lot of attention. So they're letting you know that. They're letting you know they're alone. And look at that there. And y'all, I told y'all y'all was going to be in isolated energy. I knew I was getting that. They're a loner, okay? Uh, they have a positive outlook on life. You better say they do. Yes, yes, they do. Absolutely. A charming personality. Yes, they do. I can see that already. Oh, that didn't have no talk. Look, they've never been married. So if you guys have been married before, this person has never been married. And if you've never been married, you guys will be the first together. Look at that there. And they said they light up a room. I can't with this person. I told you, you gonna notice them. They definitely light up a room and your white light directed them to you, okay? So pile one, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it gave you some insight to the beautiful person that's about to come into your life. Remember, just go ahead and detach from whatever is making you feel a little, you know, heavy hearted, artist if it's with a person or not. And know that spirit is bringing something beautiful into your life. Remember, take care of your health and be full of vitality and you write the story of your life, okay? So whatever you want to happen in your life, you make it happen. So if this resonated for you, if you found this information helpful, drop me a comment and let me know. I would love to hear the feedback. If you enjoy the reading and enjoy kicking it with your girl, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. I would love for you to join my Divine Being Gang. And if you are drawn to another pile, I will see you at the other pile. Otherwise, enjoy your day, pile one. Peace, love, and light. Hey, hey, pile two. Welcome to your reading. I'm so happy the universe allowed us to cross paths. Now, this is a reading about what's next in love for you. And you guys chose this beautiful Granny Smith apple luscious luscious green apple so this is going to let me know that this is going to be a union that is going to nourish your emotional body as well as your soul very warming to your heart definitely going to activate that heart chakra very sweet loving vibes is what this union is going to bring you this over here represents your energy this is going to represent your person's energy and this is the energy that's connecting in the middle if you feel that you resonate more over here pile two then over here then go ahead and switch it if you feel that you don't resonate with either one then you may want to pick another pile okay so the energy of the overall union is beautiful pile two you have the ten of cups and the sun I mean the sun is the best card in tarot so this union is definitely a wish fulfillment for the both of you guys you guys are definitely going to balance each other's sacral and solar plexus chakra which means your sexual energy is very intense you guys are gonna have great intimacy you guys are going to find emotional fulfillment absolutely with that ten of cups. Both will boost each other's highest self-esteem. Both of you guys will have great confidence not only in yourselves but in this love in each other. But it's just going to be beautiful sunny vibes. Great positive vibes with this union. With the ten of cups, I believe you guys are both going through some type of transformation, uh, completing a life cycle. See over here with your person. Again, this is going to bring great emotional fulfillment. And I believe you guys are both going to balance each other out. You see like that little diamond in the middle? I feel like this is like what you guys are both going through. Whatever you're going through to get that diamond. And each other is going to be the diamond for you. Now, over here is representing your energy pile too. Prior to meeting this person. And you're represented by the grasshopper. So definitely in your heart space. In your heart chakra. A little bit in that solar plexus chakra. Divine masculine energy. But you're definitely sensitive at the time prior to meeting. This is my mood swings oracle. And this card is making noise. So you're definitely standing up for yourself. Going after the things that you want. Grasshoppers are very intuitive. They represent success. Alright. They also represent the spiritual world. I do believe that you have some type of spiritual gift or is just in tune to the spiritual world very enlightened but it represents your personal strength your freedom how you listen to your inner voice and your higher self and I feel like both of you guys are going through some type of transformation but you're making noise about something in your life prior to meeting this person your person is represented by the butterfly so they're going through a powerful transformation pile too they're going through a life cycle like i said okay and this is my card of full disclosure so they're being completely honest with themselves but not only themselves with other 
people. They're very pe playful, but they're going through some type of renewal at the time they're about to meet you. In the middle, the energy uh, prior to you guys both meeting is the guys are both in the energy of the horse. Beautiful, loving beauty, loving nature, free spirit. You do things that are honorable, okay, like freedom. Again, with the driving force, both of you guys, something is driving you guys, I believe not only together, but to complete some type of life cycle. This is about balancing your innate abilities with the wild side of you and definitely represents sexual energy. Energy. Again, I believe this sexual energy in the chemistry driving you guys, okay, is going to be intense. I am really getting that with this pie. Back over here, pile two, with the feathers. And you have number 14. Now, angel number 14 is all about a symbol of constant change. So again, with the making noise and again with this circle, I believe that you guys are both completing some type of life cycle. And the angels are guiding you with this over here, pile two. 14 also is temperance in tarot. It's all about finding balance. It's all about um, duality as well, balancing that light and that shadow. And then 14 breaks down to a five, again, dealing with change dealing with uncertainty but also dealing with travel so you could have to travel to meet this person but this card represents that you're going to see feathers the angels and the um, angelic realm are trying to speak to you pile two through through feathers and this card is going to represent that so you want to look out for feathers or you're going to notice feathers prior to meeting this person that's the energy that's going to bring you to them okay now if you see white feathers that means the Holy Spirit is guiding you if you see a black feather, that could be a warning of an upcoming challenge, or it could also be an omen of positivity coming the way you take it, okay? If you see colorful feathers, that means something's about to happen. And if you see gray feather or half black and half white, that means for you to be alert. So prior to meeting this person around the time you're going to meet this person, pal, two, you're going to see feathers. And also with feathers, it doesn't have to mean like a feather is going to just like fall in front of your face. If you have a like down comforters or pillows, you know, feather could pop out. Open your mind, you can see a feather on a billboard, on the TV, in a book, on a keychain. Hear somebody say feather. So open your mind to all the possibilities of how a feather uh, fe I just saw a feather on a teacup or a coffee cup. Okay. If that happens, somebody uh, put that in <laughs> in the comment section. I just saw that. Okay. So pay attention to that. Over here with your person, they have doorways and they have angel number 11. And angel number 11 is all about the angel of life changes, breaking back down to a two, all about choices. And this is what this person's energy is. It's about a choice. So that energy that's drawing them to you is they are going to have to make a choice. They're going to be presented with some opportunity. And this is definitely going to be communicated to them because of this blue, whether communicated by the angelic realm or the physical realm, because you do see all of that white. And you see how that doorway has all of that white. So it's definitely Definitely a doorway that's opening to something beautiful and positive and I believe that doorway is this union right here so some type of opportunity is going to draw them to you pile two and feathers are going to draw you to them in the middle we have this house card and this is angel number 17 okay and also back to this doorways amber 11 is the justice card in tarot so this could be some karmic justice coming to the both of you guys because again i said i feel like you guys are both completing a cycle so it could be karmic justice coming to the both of you guys or just to bring harmony and balance in both of you guys' life now with this house card again back to 17 angel number 17 is all about making the right decisions 17 in tarot is the star card okay all about healing all about uh, viewing someone as the star and again back to wish fulfillment and that breaks down to an eight all about having power in your life authority in your life abundance in your life control so this card is all about you could be purchasing a house but something about property it could be building wealth contracts business deals you see them people shaking hands you could shake hands doing some type of transaction meet the person but this is also about separation division of property divorce i do believe somebody may be getting a divorce or going through some type of separation at the time they meet whether it's you pile to um, or the person I'm thinking more so the person than you pal to but you switch it But I believe somebody might be going through a divorce or be separated or coming out of a very heavy union Prior to you guys coming together. I do believe that when you guys shake hands or touch There's going to be some type of 
spark between the two of you guys. I do believe that. But that's another force that's driving in pile one. I don't know if you're drawn to pile one. I saw in my third eye somebody, a realtor, someone, either that was the person they were going to get with or they're going to be shown a house or something like that, meet the person. So I don't know if I was channeling and seeing that for you guys pile two, or if you're drawn to pile one, you may want to check that out, but that also can happen as well. So that's just the connecting energies of what's happening prior to you guys meeting and what's drawing you guys together. Now we're going to get in what's the appeal pile two. Now this is my appeal oracle that I created. This is going to let me know what the appeal is going to attract you to your person and your person to you. So let me just give it a good shuffle real quick. I just cut to mature and dirty. Oh, okay, pile two. Now pile one got dirty too now. So that means you're very sophisticated. You act in a mature energy, which is very good. So one of y'all is mature and dirty. Okay, so <laughs> let's see. Clear the energy of this deck. All right, Spirit, can you tell me what is going to be the appeal that is going to attract pile two to their person? Sunny and bright. You better say it with that sun energy. Sunny and bright. So they are going to have a sunny disposition pile too. They're just going to light up a room pile too. They're just going to shine bright is what I heard. They are going to smell good. Now this came on pile one too. They're going to smell good pile too. So another thing that's going to draw you is their scent. Whether it is cologne or perfume or their natural scent. Give me one more. A lifesaver. Look at that there. So again, because you're making noise over here, pal, too. And I said people are going through a cycle. So maybe you're going through something and they come in right at the, at the nick of time and you just feel they're a lifesaver. Or maybe they're just a humanitarian or somebody who just really, you know, extends a lending hand to others. Again, with that sunny and bright energy, I would think so. Bottom of the deck, milk shake. Okay, so I'm getting a couple things with this, too. Um, this is giving me a nostalgia vibe, so they might be a little old school. You could take it that way. You could take it that you guys both compliment each other, giving that there's two milkshakes. Maybe they got a little jiggle with they wiggle, whether masculine or feminine, you know. You could take it that way as well. But I'm just getting a, a, a just a very comforting vibe. You know, you can't say warm because milkshakes are cold. But you know, when people have milkshakes, it brings them joy. It comforts them. All right. Spirit, can you tell me what is going to be the appeal that's going to draw pile two's person to them? What we got here? Okay. We have sweet tooth. Didn't I say that apple was sweet? Look at that there. You are going to be a sweet tooth to them pile two. I ain't going to be able to get enough of you pile two. Might like candy, but you're going to be a sweet tooth. And look at this elegant. Okay, that came on pile one too. So they're going to love the way you carry yourself, your mannerism. Again, I had cut to that mature, okay? The way you walk, the way you talk, the way you dress, the way you just sit there. Come on through pile two, just elegant, poise. Come on through pile two. I see it. What I say, mature, came back out absolutely, definitely. They are going to be drawn to your maturity. How you handle yourself in all life situations. Again, this person is going through a transformation. They are going to dig that pile too. And look at that there, empire. Can I say that grasshopper represents success pile too? So either you have a, some type of empire that's drawing them to you or they know y'all gonna have an empire together. Again, I told you this represents wealth as well, okay? So some type of empire they believe that you guys can have if you, if you don't already have it and that's drawing and look at this didn't I say something about travel you may meet this person on vacation if not the appeal is going to be that you like to travel and you guys have fun on vacations that they feel that you guys can have fun look and then we have the lifesaver you guys could be on a cruise or something you know what I'm saying and meet each other and that could be the appeal that you guys both like to go on vacation get this there at the bottom of the deck top 10 of everything didn't I say wish fulfillment and that circle that diamond yes both of you guys feel you are top 10 of everything and to each other beautiful pile too so this is my under the influence oracle deck i created now this is going to let us know what energies could influence the union okay then we're gonna get some tarot on it all right and i do have meshes decks out to um so we can get to know them so after we finish this portion we're going to get into like character traits 
and I have a deck called uh, what you want to know and let's get to know each other so we're gonna get to know this person pile too and see who they truly are but so far the vibes are beautiful just like pile one just beautiful all right clear the energy of this deck all right spirit can you give me three energies that could influence this beautiful union for pile two telepathy look at that there so you guys could have a telepathic bond you could be a sensing a union could be coming to you right now or prior to meeting this person you guys could be hearing each other speaking to each other you guys could both like dolphins or like you know marine life be drawn to the ocean but you guys have some type of telepathic bond and when you guys get together you guys will have a telepathic bond you guys will be able to communicate with each other without speaking you guys will be in tune to each other's emotions again emotional fulfillment and with all of that sun energy absolutely give me one more spirit what's another energy that could influence this union whoa we have look at that marriage look at that there i get two things with this again i told you i think somebody may be coming out of a marriage or in a separation but i do believe that this could be leading to a marriage as well and look at them on this card you know what i'm saying he up there reading his paper and she just hovering over reading it with him like over his shoulder just want to be in each other's spaces i can't with y'all pile two just gonna love on each other love on each other look at that there photographs now one of you guys could see each other's pictures okay but i'm getting you guys are very photogenic you guys may like to take a lot of family portraits together this this card also represents i don't remember if i said it because sometimes i'm channeling security in the family a wonderful family home that is protected you guys might be both family oriented but when you guys come together definitely is going to be family oriented i do see a big family whether it's a blended family or you guys are going to have a lot of kids okay and that could be with that photograph too and going back to that empire as well they may like to take pictures of you or you of them i'm just getting a whole bunch of photographs i see like pictures on the wall i think you guys are just going to document this life together and look at this memory lane didn't i say that with the milkshake okay so i'm like listen this could be somebody from your past but circling back around pile two with that memory lane because this almost gives me like my six of cups is that almost like my six of cups vibe or it's going to feel like you've just known this person all of your life pile too that's what i'm getting you guys are just going to have a whole bunch of childlike fun again with that positive vibes a whole like a whole bunch of childlike fun okay so those are the energies that's going to influence you guys are going to have a telepathic bond definitely deep communication without having to be verbal leading to a marriage i truly believe or a high level commitment for those who do not believe in marriage you guys are definitely going to document this union love to take pictures and things like that i see people people posting on social media as well okay and memory lane so again it could be somebody from your past could be a past life soulmate as well pile two or you guys are just going to have that childlike playful energy and it's just going to feel like you have known this person all of your life and look at the bottom of the deck this is my have several seats cards so i'm getting that some people might be trying to hate on this union pile too so just be aware of that that they may be trying to hate okay so now let's go ahead and get some tarot on it and let's just see how further these influences are going to affect the union i just cut the strength and the world look at that they're definitely completing life cycles on the both of y'all absolutely the world is about wholeness you know completion okay and then with the strength card yes definitely is giving you guys both power personal power so this is my mystic monday's tarot i love this tarot clear the energy of this deck so let's just go ahead and get some more information okay so spirit can you uh clarify further what's going on with this telepathy what's going on with the telepathy look at this five of swords so that means that you you guys first of all neither one of y'all can get over on the other because you guys have that telepathic bond because five of swords could be about you know deception you know mind games and things like that but that just means there won't be any with you guys no mind games no deception and not only will you not have that with each other y'all gonna see through other of people y'all are going to have each other's back come on through spirit with that absolutely come on through spirit what's going on with this marriage i see that what's going on with this marriage card look at that strength came back out this marriage is going to be strong or this union if y'all don't believe in marriage it's going to be strong pile to very strong i said again is going to enhance both of you guys's personal power and we have look at this queen of pentacles 
this is going to be a very abundant union very nurturing again loving you guys both like luxury are going to have again going back to that empire a very luxurious marriage pile to absolutely okay i heard materialistic so just make sure a pile to y'all don't get too overboard with the materialism i did just hear that um, but for the most part with that queen of pentacles very good a, a very generous very loving you guys are both going to be giving to each other again i had that big family and and this queen of pentacles who's ever going to be in this feminine energy is going to just dote on those kids spoil those kids maybe that's where that materialistic is spirit saying hold that back a little bit don't go, don't go too overboard give me one more with this queen of pentacles um, also could be an earth sign okay give me one more with this queen of pentacles spirit the devil and look so so that's what i was picking up yeah just be careful with the materialism pile too because i'm getting there might be a great financial security again going back to that house card in this i'm seeing somebody buying somebody a house too that might be a gift for somebody if these things happen please put them in the comments because I do see that okay but yeah and because you have two major arcanas with the devil and the strength and we can take the devil also as freedom okay you now having financial security and freedom in your life I believe you guys both are going to have some type of freedom that you guys didn't have prior to meeting each other and pri prior to being together and that could just make you guys be a little bit obsessive or um with it you know so just just tame that if you feel that that could be that i don't know if that's for everybody i think that's just a specific message but i'm not getting anything toxic with this devil not at all I, i'm getting the opposite actually going back to this making noise and this transformation y'all done cut them puppet strings y'all not let nothing do you see this stairwell y'all ain't let nothing get in y'all head you see them steps every time a negative thought of something coming in you you, you better not cross that other step where, where, where you going right yes that's the energy I'm picking up off of you. Y'all better say it. And look at this three of pentacles down at the bottom of the deck. You guys may have a business. Look at this will of fortune. Definitely fate coming on in. Definitely divinely orchestrated. Um, but you definitely guys are going to partner to have a business. Somebody could be looking at your work. That could be a doorway. Again, because we had success over here, pile two. You could be showing some work or something. And this person could see it could cause you to travel. I just saw some artwork and a curator. Oh, yeah. I just saw a, a painting or something with feathers on it. Oh, Okay, in a museum or something. Pay attention to that, guys. Okay, look at this. Six of Cups. Okay, and I was just about to ask about the photographs. Six of Cups. Again, so this could be somebody, again, from your past. It could be a friend that wants to take it to the next level. But the Six of Cups just lets me know that there is love. There's some type of nostalgia going back to that memory lane. So, again, you guys are just going to feel like you know each other if you guys don't actually know this person. Definitely is going to have harmony in this relationship. They're going to be loyal to each other. You guys are both going to self-sacrifice for the family. I see a tight-knit family bond i mean i see these pictures on this wall like each stage of these kids growing up you guys have like family portraits i don't know who likes to take pictures but one of you guys really is into photographs all right spirit can you give me one more what else is going on with this six of cups i can't make it up y'all ace of cups absolutely overflowing with love overflowing with love this is divine love coming in a very nurturing love again going back to that apple but again you guys and this is a rebirth to love is what i just heard so i don't know if you know this person pile two if this is a person coming back or again somebody coming out of a separation or a divorce or something and that's what that rebirth of love is and it's going to be with you i do believe some of you guys are going to be entering into a blended family and look at that there five of cups at the bottom of the deck somebody's coming out of sadness grief heartache I heard betrayal. Somebody's coming out of that. And I believe it's this person over here. Whoever is represented with that butterfly energy with the doorway. I get over here. This grasshopper is just going after what they want. You know what I'm saying? Standing in their power, you know, um, with the um, feathers here. I believe, and, and the fact that it's very spiritual, you're tapped in over here. You're tapped into your intuition and to what you need to go through. I believe if you are having any type of issues, because I believe you're completing a life cycle, maybe ascending to the next level, there's some challenges there but I don't get a heavy heart energy over here. I get good vibes over here. Over here, I get good vibes too, but I just get, I'm waiting to get to the next level. Let this be over so I can get to the next level. Like this person is well aware they're going through some type of transformation because again, we had full disclosure over here. Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck definitely is again going to be a union of equal give and take. All right, now let's go on and get over to this memory lane. Spirit, can you clarify memory lane for me? 
we have the wheel of fortune again this is fate again this could be a past life soulmate and then we have the princess of cups someone with the memory lane that means that this is like an innocent love you guys are going to be like head over heels with each other you guys also could have been maybe gullible in love in the past or or one of you and that could have caused some heartache okay and again with this circle i believe and with the justice card this is bringing you karmic justice coming back bringing you a divine love because i do believe someone was hurt in the past by love this is an offer of love this is a message of love coming in okay and so it could be a message of love from someone from the past all right and look i knew i was seeing the page of pentacles in my head look the page of pentacles are in a year it is something that's going to ground the page of pentacles is someone who is studious who is skilled who likes to learn who's ambitious could be a i heard a little bit unpredictable and a little bit ungrounded at times okay so that could be one of you guys' energy in regards to that memory lane. But again, I said that I was told to cut to the middle of the deck. And remember I said that somebody is going to come and that nobody's going to recognize who this person is because they're going to be completely different from who they were before. Cut to the middle of the high priestess. Look at that there. So both of you guys need to pay attention to your intuition, especially in this union. But also you could be dreaming of this person. But what I'm getting with the high priestess is this is a secret, not a secret, like a bad secret. This is a secret that spirit is blessing you guys both with so that's some of the energies that could influence the union now we're going to get to what advice spirit has for you and then after that i'll get you an affirmation we're gonna get into these message decks okay pile two so let's see what advice would be most beneficial spirit for pile two so that they can be in alignment to meet this wonderful person and all it is 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 that you guys are both completing some type of life cycle okay i think that's what it is you guys got to complete this life cycle to get on alignment all right i believe you over here are ascending to the next level and this one is either getting out of something going through a separation or divorce uh, or a powerful they're going through a powerful transformation and they just got to get to that next vibration so you guys can be on the same level i see like one person here and one person almost there i don't know if you see my hands almost there for you guys to be on that same level clear the energy of this deck and if you didn't know that's the law of attraction you attract things to you that you're on the same vibration of so if you have anything in your life that you don't want you want to change your mentality and change your vibration because you're drawing it to you okay all right so spirit can you tell me what advice is most beneficial for pile two to help them be in the right vibration and alignment to meet this wonderful person we have sunstone take pleasure in the things that you do take pleasure okay again all of that orange giving me the emotional body with the sacral chakra again with the sun card sun energy again positive vibes so take pleasure in the things that you do it's going to help you be in alignment to meet this person we have emma's and knight loosen your grip in green back to the heart chakra beautiful stone this is saying loosen your grip so if you feel like you have to control everything pile two or you just have to narrate and navigate everything in your life spirit is asking you to loosen your grip a little bit and let the divine bring this love to you okay let the feathers guide you all right give me one more spirit and we have angel aura quartz lighten up i felt somebody had a heavy energy so being a light-hearted sunny energy that's going to help you draw this person to them and look I, I can't make it up with the high priestess and the intuition amethyst trust your intuition pile two trust your intuition okay so let's go ahead and get you a, a affirmators card real quick and let's get into these messages pile too because i want to see who this person is okay so let's see spirit can you tell me what affirmators oracle card is most beneficial for pile two right now clear the energy of this deck all right spirit Look at that. Spirit's already... Look at this here. Heart chakra and throat chakra. Spontaneity. Okay? It says, do you like spontaneous adventures of the highest caliber? The only acceptable answer to this question is yes. So buckle up, Charlie. You're about to take a wild ride through the unexplored, unconventional, and underrated. You're about to learn that yes is a magic word with the power to unlock new dimensions in space time and after hours hangouts yes will lead you to experiences you didn't think possible and teach you that lifelong friendships are sometimes lurking just behind a karaoke singer's mother we're not talking about friendship look at that there hmm hmm look at this spontaneity 
heart chakra. Again, didn't it say lighten up your grip, loosen, uh, loosen your grip? Didn't it say and lighten up? Yeah, be more spontaneous, pile two, so you can draw this person in. We have sanctuary. Good for you. It seems you've earned some time away from the chaos of life. Didn't I say completing a cycle? Could be as small as a bubble bath or as big as a trip. I said travel. Or maybe it's a small trip to a big bubble bath or a normal size trip to a tiny bubble bath or maybe a trip and fell um, and fell into someone's bubble bath. Whatever it is, it's waiting for you with open arms. Absolutely. Just pick up your favorite sanctuary and unplug for a bit, especially if it's the bath involved. Going back to that throat chakra and communication, communicate the things that you need pile to. You know, spirit wants you to, to rest. So if you need help in some area, wants you to take sanctuary, wants you to loosen up your grip. You don't have to worry about anything. Um, you just need to lighten up and pay attention to your intuition. If you felt like you were going through some heavy type of cycle or, or, or time right now, I believe you are ascending. Truly believe you are ascending. Bottom of the deck, divine timing. I can't make it up. Divine timing. Everything is timing and timing is everything. Gladly I release my concern over timing and let things happen when and, and as they will. I trust that the divine schedule makers know what they're doing. It can take a long time to reach divine middle management. Okay, so that's basically saying just let spirit do this there's nothing that you need to do but keep ascending have positive vibes find your sanctuary in times that you are feeling stress pile two and just know that this person is going to be drawn to you but this is my character traits deck so this is just going to let us know some character traits of this person coming into your life pile two so let's see what kind of character traits they working with that one wants to fall out every time one of these tops come off let me see. Look, they are candid. Didn't I say that with the full disclosure? So they definitely speak their mind. Pile to clear the energy of this deck. May be a good storyteller as well. All right, what other characteristics does this person have? Spirit coming into pile two's life. Okay, we have friendly. All right, so they are friendly pile two. Let me put it over here. They are spiritual pile too okay that's beautiful i said somebody had a spiritual pile. they are sexy i don't know if i mentioned i thought i did with horse but that is all about sexual energy and i believe y'all sexual energy is gonna be off the train and draw each other to each other look sweet i believe i mentioned that with this apple and they are extrovert goes back to that candy so they like to be out they're not a person who's a homebody a person who likes to mingle with people and talk to people bottom of the deck and very ambitious it would make sense going back to that empire either feeling like you have an empire or uh, they want to create an empire together so you're going to be very attracted to them pile two they're going to have a very friendly demeanor okay they're going to be spiritual tapped into the spiritual world some type of way very sweet extrovert and candid so this is my what you want to know that and we're going to get some more information now we're going to talk to the person coming into your life pile two and let's get to know them so pile two's person we want to know you what you want to tell us clear the energy of this deck all right what you want to tell us you said you can and now full disclosure don't be tight lipped now come on okay there we go i was about to say that's a lot okay we got positive outlook on life absolutely a positive outlook on life yes they do with that sun energy they are a loner so although they are extrovert they could be a person whose social circle could be a little small solid as a rock though absolutely solid as a rock going back to that house the uh family protection and security absolutely solid as a rock they are talkative going back to that candy so they like to talk a lot pal too trust has to be earned okay so again didn't I tell you somebody might be going through a separation or a divorce I feel like somebody's coming out of a heavy relationship so they're saying trust has to be earned all right so they are a person who's very observant they pay attention to detail I heard that they listen to what people say and then they watch to see if they do it so this is a person who really wants people to honor their work Word. They say they light up a room. Again, going back to that extrovert. And they have a charming personality. Absolutely, they have a charming personality. Bottom of the deck um, can be e Okay, so they can be easily swayed. All right. That's why they're saying trust has to be earned. So, then I say, I, I think I mentioned something about maybe a gullible energy. I don't know. 
Princess of Cups can give that um, energy as well. So it can be easily swayed. So maybe they were taking advantage in the past. Okay, so just keep that in mind that they may have a little bruising, a little wounding on their heart when you guys come together. But again, it's going to be emotional fulfillment for the both of you guys. Very nourishing to the emotional body and the soul. So this is my let's get to know each other deck. And let's just get a little bit more information on your person power too. And I'm going to go ahead and get you out of here. So far, you know, this seems like it's a beautiful person coming into your life, pile two. You guys just got to wrap up a cycle. Clear the energy of this deck. Person, we want to get to know you. What else would you like to tell pile two about you? All right. We have, they lack good communication skills. Okay, so listen, even though they're talkative and we have this full disclosure, and remember I said that this person may not, people may not recognize this person. I get it. Maybe they lack good communication skills in the past. And again, remember I said this has something to do with communication in this doorway. Maybe that's the transformation that they're going through, that they are going to be able to communicate better. The other, the other thing is because they're talkative, and they're the extrovert and candid, maybe their communication style is just a little bit immature. So that's something you guys may not have to work through. They enjoy the outdoors. I said something about nature and beauty, I thought with that horse. So they like outdoors. They are financially independent. This could be a business owner, you know, but they are self-sufficient. Again, going back to that empire. So, and again, going back to that house and stability. I was talking about property, uh, somebody buying someone a house. So they are definitely financially stable, okay? Give me one more spirit. And we have their very direct. Now, maybe that is the where they lack <laughs> the good communication skills because maybe they just say things that can go back to the candy too, and they're just very blunt with it, and that could hurt people's heart. So maybe that's something that they may want to ease up on. Give me, okay, we got these. They could be a um, a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Makes sense with the Ten of Cups, okay? And if they're not that, it could be somewhere in their chart. They have a stocky or large build. So for some of you, they could have stocky and large build. And this came out in Power One Two. Not a very serious person, okay? So they don't take things too seriously. Bottom of the deck, but they are very sociable. Going back to that extrovert. So Pile Two, I hope. You enjoyed the reading. I hope that it resonated. If it did and you found this information helpful, go ahead and drop me a comment. Let me know. I love feedback. If you enjoyed the vibe and kicking it with your girl, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. I would love for you to become one of my divine being gang, okay? If not, just enjoy your day, pile two. And just be on the lookout for other readings, all right? I enjoyed you and your company. Peace, love, and light. Hey, hey, Pile 3, welcome to your reading. I'm so happy the universe allowed us to cross paths. So today, this reading is about what's next in love for you, okay? And you guys chose this beautiful, luscious red apple. Now, before we even get into a Pile 3, the energy in this is complicated, Pile 3. This is a major, major union that's coming together. This is going to not only activate you spiritually, it's going to activate the person spiritually. And we'll get into it. But this reading, or well, this pile, very powerful. I don't even necessarily know if this is going to be romantic. It says what's next in love. I'm not even sure if it is romantic or if this is a romantic counterpart here to awaken you spiritually, but we're going to get into a definitely strong, strong energy on both ends. And definitely it's here for you guys to fulfill some type of mission or some type of task is what I'm hearing. It's supposed to happen with this union. Okay. So how it's going to work is over here. It's going to represent your energy. Over here will represent their energy and then the middle is going to represent the connecting and just to let you know as I was preparing with your oracle cards you guys have the most cards out of all the piles so far and you guys are mirroring each other you have like this is two of cups that's representing your energy pile three and then they have the two of pentacles that's one mirroring over here you have number 31 which is the third eye over here they have number 13 which is epiphany over here 10 with communication over here 20 with loved ones and spirit you guys are mirroring each other when i say that this is a powerful union whatever it is whether it is romantic or not this is powerful okay pile three so 
let's get over here this is my um, mood swings oracle deck that i created so this energy is going to represent you and now if you don't resonate over here pile three then go ahead and put your energy over here if you don't resonate with either one then you may want to pick another pile okay this represents the energy of the overall union and we have the chrome which is the strength card i'm in standard tarot so what this is letting me know that this union one is going to uh, give you guys great personal strength and power but it's going to take a lot of strength between the both of you guys a lot of inner strength in this union more so on your person's behalf than yours but both of you guys it's going to take a lot of inner strength a lot of determination a lot of confidence not only in the union and what you guys are here to do but in yourself uh, you could be dealing with a leo then over here the two of cups your energy in this union is going to be you're going to have great communication with your person there is mutual love here you are going to be very healing you have a healing ability about you pile three that this person is going to experience with you this could lead to marriage you're definitely going to make a choice to give your love to this person you're going to be able to not only have emotional balance in yourself you're going to be able to provide this person over here with emotional balance because they're lacking that and you're going to be able to give some type of security and whether this is friend lover or business is going to be a satisfying union it just may be a little challenging all right over here with the person they are trying to find balance in their life so when you guys are together it may be a little rocky with finding balance in the material world you can meet this person in the winter time this person uh, could be an earth sign but they're going to be determined on having some type of financial and personal security in their life and this, this is going to be the energy in some type of capacity in this union with this person this person is very clever but this person is going through a growth period and they're also learning new, new knowledge not only about themselves but about the world so that's the energy of this union but again two and two both mirroring each other both trying to find balance maybe you're finding your balance emotionally they're finding their balance more in, in material and also number 22 is the angel of relentlessly pursuing your dream so i believe both of you guys will be in that energy not only prior to meeting but when you guys are together and also a uh, master number 22 is all about you know manifesting and creating your reality and i do believe that you guys are going to do that together all right now back to you pal three <laughs> your mood sweet oracle prior to meeting this person is you tried it okay now do you see this dog with all these little rubber bands it's like you tried it don't don't be doing my face and my hair like that okay so you're gonna be in that energy of maybe you know people have just tried your patience too much tried your kindness you know taking your kindness for weakness or you know you just have lost patience with people and things and so you're in that energy like don't try it with me don't don't play me now your person over here they had two is represented by the jellyfish and the peacock and this is my mood swing card it's too many jellyfish in the sea so they have a lot of options and this one is haughty so they uh, could be entertaining a whole bunch of options prior to you meeting this person. Could uh, be maybe a little cocky, maybe have a big ego, feel like, you know, they ish don't stink, you know, over there strutting with this peacock. That's their energy. Now back to you with the dog. You are in the energy of being very loyal. You have very strong faith. You're devoted, unloving though, unconditional love. So that is your energy and that's why you're in that don't try it. You know, don't try me because that is what you give. You want that to be reciprocated to you. Back over here with your person with the jellyfish their life is a little bit out of control prior to meeting you jellyfish um all they do is eat really that's their main function and and with the fact that this is you know too many jellyfish in the sea they could just be devouring all the options that they meet prior to meeting you this is also about people who are just real relaxed and passive also jellyfish come into your life to represent that there is nothing you can do to change a situation it's time to you know level up from from what you're doing also they're very stubborn it represents people who are stubborn in life they can't find ease in life very easily so again this person has a very chaotic energy prior to meeting you and then we have haughty over here with the peacock now with the peacock 
Peacocks represent trying to find balance in your foundation. Again, going back to that two of pentacles. Also about beauty. So this person could be very attractive. But again, it's about going through a rebirth because peacocks are rebirth. And it's also about self-love. Allowing yourself to, to be loved not only by yourself, but others. And to not be arrogant and to not be unapproachable and with this you know too many jellyfish in the sea and the haughty this person could be in that energy you might be a little bit turned off by this person when you meet them um at the start if they're in this type of energy it could be a little bit off putting especially if you're in this jovial happiness fun loving you know unconditionally loving energy you know wanting to offer love and have mutual love given back to you and they're in this little joke and they can't find balance because i can't keep the card up now okay and they're in this you know juggling energy over here with the two of pentacles and look this card has clouds and it's a little stormy even though down at the bottom is the sun they're trying to balance positivity and i think negative energies in their life now in the middle you guys have the snake and this is my rebirth card so the energy of both of you guys and, you know prior to meeting and coming into this union is a rebirth and not only that i said that this was a powerful union because you guys are both going through a kundalini awakening and what a kundalini awakening is is where you truly awaken to who you are as an immortal being a spirit having a human experience it is your chakras fully awakening and you aligning to who you are in your soul mission and i believe this union is putting you guys both on your path your spiritual path and awakening to your soul mission you guys are both shedding skin and going through a rebirth now when we get to down here this is the energy that is going to draw you guys to the other person this is the connecting energy all right back over here pal three you have communication with communication this is about the universe communicating with you through sound through song through things that you see all right so you're going to get some type of communication ringing in your ear a name popping up in your head hearing a song that reminds you of someone or just meet someone and you hear something that makes you feel like you need to talk to this person or is something special about this person this is how this is what's going to draw you to that person also this card represents which i told y'all y'all was mirroring each other this card represents loved ones in spirit speaking to you and guiding you so you have a passed on loved one that's guiding you to this person as well also you can meet them in the fall and winter time see there's no leaves on this tree now your person they are number 20. 20 is all about starting your spiritual journey. And again, you guys are going through Kundalini awakening. And I believe you're really awakening this person. When this person meets you, they are going to be awakened. You may already be awakened or you guys are instantly awakening. When you guys meet, it's going to activate you both. And I really feel like when you guys meet, it's going to activate you both. Now over here, your person, they have loved ones in spirit guiding them to you. So you both have passed on loved ones in spirit guides guiding you both to each other. And this one is about this person actively trying to speak to someone who has passed on. Also about a person who could have just lost someone or grieving. They could have recently had a family member or loved one pass on at the time you're meeting and that could be that person or that situation is helping draw them to you so that they can go through that spiritual awakening. Again, 10 over here, 20 over there, all right? Now, the connecting energy. I said it was a Kundalini awakening and you guys are both activating each other. When you meet this person or right before you meet this person, your third eye, pile three, is going to be cracked open and when i mean cracked open i mean cracked open if you are watching this pile you should have clairvoyant abilities okay you should have psychic abilities pile three you should be able to see things in your third eye 
Okay, well, you should start noticing synchronicities, numbers, angel numbers. Your dream should be vivid. You should be remembering your dreams, okay? Hearing things. You are just going to awaken to your spiritual gifts, but specifically your clairvoyant sight is going to be activated at the time that you meet this person or your sight is going to be activated and that's how you know you're about to meet this person and your intuition is going to draw you to them i must be excited about this pal because i just feel this energy is just uh almost like i done drank two cups of coffee this energy is just so intense y'all i'm telling you this is a powerful union over here with your person pal three number 13 they're also going through a spiritual awakening they're going to have an epiphany they're going to have an instant epiphany to who they truly are on this earth okay to who they are as, as their soul again it's definitely kundalini awakening of their soul and their mission they're going to get that spark and their loved ones are helping give them that spark that idea so when they meet you uh, either you're going to awaken them to who they truly are as a spiritual being or they're going to have that awakening right before they meet you and those are the energies that's going to draw you guys together so now we're going to get my appeal oracle and this oracle i created Look, that one went to stay at the bottom. We'll keep that there. And this is going to let us know what is going to be the appeal that's going to draw you two together. We've already got the connecting energies. Look at that. Empire wants to say, look at y'all cards just want to stay. Come on through with the empire. Let me see what this other one is, pile three. Well, let me see. I'll, I'll, I'll see who's that for. Who's that for, spirit? The person. So your person is going to be drawn to you because you're going to be very successful, pile three. You could either have an empire or they could see building an empire with you. Survivor. And you're going to be drawn to them because they're a survivor. Because even though they may have a challenging life, they're able to overcome. And that's one of the things that's going to draw you. It's going to be the appeal for you to them. Clear the energy of this deck. All right, Spirit, can you tell me what else? is going to attract pile three to their person. What's the appeal, spirit? Look at that there, peaceful garden. And see, that's gonna be after that awakening because see, this person's life is chaotic. So what that's making me think, if this person's life is chaotic, they're going to be drawn to you, pile three, because you are the peaceful garden. I'm gonna put that over there. They are going to be drawn to you because you are the peaceful garden. What else, spirit? What else is going to attract pile three to their person? Dazzling, okay? Oh, I think I'm getting your person first. Let me do your person because your person seems to want to come through. I have dazzling for you too. There's something about you, pile three, that's going to catch their eye and they, they're, they're just going to be so drawn to you options now this is what's going to draw you to them you are going to be drawn to them because they do have a lot of options and this came out in another pile where they were able to juggle things well this person does not know how to juggle well so i'm not getting that part but you will be drawn to them because they have a lot of options you're also going to be drawn to them because they're emotional however this person may not be that emotionally balanced but they do have some type of emotions that they can show you. Also with this orange, I'm getting that they're very passionate sexually. And that's another thing that's probably going to draw you. Uh, give me one more spirit that's going to draw pile three to their person. Okay, we got two. Flirty. Yes, they're going to be very flirty. I get that, especially if they are haughty. You know, all the jellyfish in the sea. They're going to be very flirty with their communication and their mannerisms. That's going to draw you to them. And look, I think dirty has come out in each one. What's going on with my collective? Look at y'all nasties. I can't. <laughs> And they're going to be a little dirty, pile three. And you're going to like that too. Okay, bottom of the deck. Lifesaver. So you both are going to feel like you guys are lifesavers to each other in some type of capacity. The appeal with you is going to be you are a peaceful garden to them, pile three. You're helping ease some of that chaos in their world. Your sphere, your aura is dazzling. They're very attracted to you. I wants you to be on their arm, I just heard. Okay, you can see an empire with you and feels you're very successful in your own right. Whatever you you do they feel you're successful because they just heard that now over here you are going to be attracted to your person because again they have options 
They are a survivor. They're very flirty and you like that. And they're a little dirty. Now, this is my under the influence, okay? And we're gonna see what influences could affect this union. So spirit, let's clear the energy of this deck. Can you tell me? And then um, I do have some message decks so we can get into like their character trade and get to know them. So we will delve deep pile three to see exactly who this person is, okay? After we get a little tear on some affirmation. So. Spirit, we get three energies that could influence this union. Have engulf me. So listen, with engulf me, didn't I say something about some sexual energy with the flirty and the dirty? You guys, one of the energies is you guys are going to be very passionate. It's going to be very steamy, this union. You guys are going to love each other's scent, whether it's cologne, perfume, or natural scent. I heard an intoxicated love, not necessarily like drinking, but you guys are just going to be intoxicated with each other's presence. Give me another energy. Memory lane. This could be someone from your past. It could be a past life soulmate, or it could be a friend, or it could just be that you guys will have, you know, like childlike fun and fun memories. Look at this there, and we have wedding. So definitely going to be a romantic union, and it could be leading to marriage, okay? Those are the three energies, and we have photographs. So this person could like to take photographs, you could like to take photographs, or you guys may document this union. So let's get some tarot on it, and let's see what these energies are bringing. You know what, let me go ahead and pull out photographs, and let's see what that's about too. But so far, those are good energies. Memory lane, wedding, and golf me photographs, and every pile so far has been beautiful, okay? Your pile is just very, powerful very powerful and i think it might just be a little bit challenging you know with the strength card represents obstacles as well and then they're in that energy and you're in this trident energy so y'all just come together just might be a little challenging at the beginning like you you like you tried it with all these little options knowing i'm the one you had to put them options down i'm i i, I feel you power three <laughs> all right let's go ahead and clarify a spirit can you go ahead and clarify for me engulf me what's going on with this engulf me Look at that there, Ace of Wands. Then I say it was gonna be passion pile three. Y'all ain't gonna be able to keep y'all hands off each other, okay? All right, y'all are going to just be all over each other. I mean, just hot and steamy is what I feel. And look at this there with the tower, and I had seen the tower too. That's a couple things. One, with this engulf me, it's going to happen all of a sudden. I'm not getting a bad thing with this tower. I'm getting that it's just going to be explosive and just magnetic is what I heard. Is magnanimous a word? Cause I sure just heard that and I don't even know what that means. Okay, give me one more spirit with this. Look at that, the lady and the Lord, I can't. The lovers, that's what the lovers represent. Engulf me, yes, absolutely. You guys are uh, like two souls that are one. You guys are gonna be like attached to the hip. What's going on with this memory lane spirit? Look at that there, the Eight of Athems, which is the Eight of Swords. So with the memory lane, it could have been maybe you guys both felt trapped. Maybe you guys both felt bound in the past, especially this person over here with the chaotic lifestyle. And then you over here with the trident, maybe there were some things mentally that were trapping you both because the Eight of Athems or the Eight of Swords in the Standard Tarot is about things trapping you in the mind. And this is going to help break you free from that, both of you guys, because the other thing is with the Kundalini energy and this union, you guys are both awakening to healing power in the both of you. You both have some type of healing power you over here have that clairvoyant sight but there's some type of healing power that both of you guys have that when you guys come together is going to not only activate but it's going to heal something in the both of you spirit what's going on with this eight of swords clarify this eight of swords look at that the horn guard the emperor look at that there so memory lane so the emperor is a father figure someone who likes control authority has strong boundaries so that memory lane could be maybe in the past you guys both lack boundaries maybe you guys lacked confidence and didn't weren't in your emperor energy your divine masculine energy and this union is going to activate that in both of you guys so that you can not only have more confidence in yourself but confidence in your spiritual path confidence in your thoughts so that you're not in this trapped energy come on spirit love that spirit what's going on with this wedding what's going on with this wedding look at that there i came with y'all we got the six of wands and the um seven of athems which is the seven of swords so that's just letting me know one 
there will be victory in this union. Now, with the seven of eighthums, normally in the standard tarot, that would be being sneaky, but in this card, it's not. This man has gone out and was hunting and getting food and gathering it and then bringing it to the home, but he's wondering, does he wanna bring the food in the home or, or not? But this is about somebody trying to be a provider. So maybe in the past, maybe this person wasn't a great provider trying to find balance in their finances and their foundation. So now they want to have victory and maybe that when they come with you, they'll be able to have that victory. We'll be able to have that success. Uh, did we have empire down there? Again, that's what one of the appeals was that you over here are financially stable. You're working on building some type of foundation or empire for yourself. I don't get a sneaky vibe from this person. I believe that this person is very direct and honest about what they do, especially with this, this peacock peacock strutting uh spread they feathers they not hiding nothing so i don't get a sneaky vibe at all from this person not not at all i feel like this person wants to do right by not only you but anybody in their life they're just trying to find balance okay look at this 21 the world and i was about to clarify photographs but this goes back over here they're completing a cycle and you both will be completing a cycle in this union because again these are the energies that are going to influence the union so you guys will have victory they're going to be a provider it just may be challenging you guys are just going to have to go through some cycles together up here can you go ahead and 21 is all about the angel of independence breaking back down to a three finding growth learning how to expand learning how to have enthusiasm in life i feel like this person may lack a little enthusiasm in life spirit can you clarify photographs look at that the wheel we got the word y'all got so many major arcanas the wheel is all about fate destiny karma Clarify the wheel with the photograph. This could be somebody from your past. Look at this page of wands. And this person in this card is trying to manifest something. But page of wands are enthusiastic. They are trying to, what's the word I'm looking for? They're trying to create something that they're passionate about. That's what the page of wands is doing. So if we have photographs with the wheel and the page of wands. Spear, what is that? Photographs with the wheel and the page of wands. Okay, somebody wants a new start. This one might be somebody that's circling around or you guys have, may have tried to start a couple times, but it may not have fully grounded because with the page of wands and this will spirit says somebody's trying to manifest a new beginning and it could be reminiscing over your photographs. Bottom of the deck, look at this, the Ten of Swords. Yeah, Ten of Athems, that's a painful ending. You could have had a painful ending with someone and... They could be trying to manifest a new beginning or this person is in this energy because they had a painful ending and they're just in the energy of trying to manifest somebody. But that's I, I don't think that's it. I think that there might be a painful ending in this because this is the energy representing the union. I think it might be a painful ending in this and then a rebirth. Because what I what I truly believe is that you guys are going to meet each other, you guys are going to activate each other, and then there might be some type of separation or some type of betrayal or something here, especially with this person being in this haughty energy and having options. And then somebody's going to be reminiscing, looking at photographs and try to manifest a new beginning. I believe that's how it's going to happen. Look at this because we have the five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Somebody's going to feel like they're left out in the cold. Somebody's going to feel like they're in lack. Somebody is just going to feel like they... I heard don't belong and have nothing to offer. And then I say you might meet this person in the winter time. But look, we've got the sun. Okay, so that means that there still could be hope for this. You guys have to put your faith in the divine. We do have the page of cups. Somebody could be wanting to send a message of love or I'm getting an apology. I get this might be a person circling back around. I, I think in each time I do a reading, there's always one person who wants to circle back around. And I think that's what it is. I think you guys were meant to meet to awaken to your spiritual gifts. And I think that if you guys entertain this union, it could lead to marriage. I just believe that this could be a challenging union because it's so powerful. And you guys are just gonna to have to learn how to balance the physical world 
in the financial world, especially over here with communicating. So let's get further into it. Let's go ahead and get some advice from spirit. And then let's go on and get into these character traits and messages, pile three, so we can see who else this person is. Now I was intuitively guided to get my It's Complicated deck and I wasn't even sure if I was going to use it, but at this point I think I am. So let's just see what's gonna make this union complicated because I do feel like it might just be a little complicated. Clear the energy of this deck. Okay, Spirit, can you tell me what advice be most beneficial for Pile 3 to help them get on alignment in regards to this union, this person coming in? We have Smoky Quartz. We have Let It Go. Okay, so there's something that you need to let go in your life, Pile 3, in order to bring this union in. If this is a past person and this person hurts you, then there needs to be some type of healing. We have Epidote. Um, and I believe that's over here somewhere. Look. <laughs> that's this crystal right here okay this says go deeper so there's something that you are not seeing if you do know this person okay there's something that you are not seeing about the union if not and this is a new person that's coming in and again it just might be challenging giving the energies that you guys are in prior to meeting spirit is asking you to go deeper especially in your heart chakra what may be plaguing you pile three that you need to let go of especially dealing with the emotional body giving that would be the sacral chakra because it's orange give me one more spirit shungite we have detoxify your life okay so there's some type of toxicity some negative energy negative self-talk something because again we going back to my Uswings oracle you tried it there so there's something that got you in that tried it energy that spirit wants you to let go of so you can be on the right vibration and in the right energy when this person comes into your life and then at the bottom we have amethyst trust in your intuition and again your third eye is being activated with this person okay either when you meet them or prior to clairvoyant sight pay attention to the things you're seeing in your third eye and your dreams but we also have malachite which says it's time to transform so again this union is not only going to transform you pile three is going to transform this person and even if you just met this person just to awaken your spiritual gifts if it does not lead to the marriage for all of you for some who don't want marriage you know be thankful that it's activating your spiritual gift because i told you before i started that this was a powerful union this is meant to get you guys both on your life path you guys are mirroring each other how synchronistic was it with the 10 and the 20 the 31 and the 13 i mean as i was getting these oracle cards out i just could not believe the two and the two so i mean this is powerful powerful and i feel like it could be beautiful it just might be a little challenging okay clear the energy of this deck so this is the affirmators Oracle deck. Let's just see what Affirmated Oracle is best for you. Pile three. And we're going to get into these cards, these decks. We have Sanctuary. This came out, I think, in pile two. This is actually the throat chakra. It says, good for you. It seems you've earned some time away from the chaos of life. Look how synchronistic that is with this person being having a chaotic life and you being that peaceful garden. Okay. It says it could be as small as a bubble bath or as big as a trip, or maybe it's a small trip to a big bubble bath or a normal size trip to a tiny bubble bath, or maybe a trip, or maybe you tripped and fell into someone's bubble bath, whatever it is. It's waiting for you with open arms. Just pick your favorite sanctuary and unplug for a bit, especially if a bath is involved. So absolutely. So don't stress too much, pile three. Go ahead and pamper yourself. Relax if you're having some stresses. Be that peaceful garden. We have love. Look at that there. Look at that. And it says, love is a many splendid thing. Today, I will notice and appreciate at least three of those splendors. Like the fact that puppies make me feel like a parent. Or the surge of self-congratulations I feel when I sink a three-point trash bucket shot on the first try. Or how about the chills I get when singing along to, and then you name the song. So absolutely keep embodying not only self-love pile three but love of life okay all right always be grateful so let's go ahead and get into it let's get some character traits of this person coming into your life and let's see who they might be so i created this deck too let's see what we got and then we're going to get into what you want to know 
I have a deck called Let's Get to Know Each Other, and we're going to see how this might be complicated, okay? And I'll get you out of here, pile three. So it's still good vibes. It's just this person's got really heavy energy coming into it, and you just might not be for it at the beginning okay so again i think it might be a couple false starts with this one all right so spirit can you tell us mm, clear the energy of this deck can you tell pile three what some character traits this person may have what character traits does this person have so they are spiritual so they're an introvert though so they could be a person who doesn't like to go out or maybe not very sociable. It could be a homebody. You have innocent. So with this chaotic and haughty, with that innocent coming out there like that, I'm getting that two things. One, they could play like their innocence or I'm getting maybe their innocence was either taken or robbed when they were younger. Their innocence might be a little distorted is what I'm getting with that. I'm not getting a pure vibe with this. And the fact that that is uh, orange lets me know it's dealing with the sacral chakra. So it's dealing with their emotions and their sexuality. That innocence card, okay? Uh, that could be why they entertain options or something like that. With that, give me one more spirit. Okay, we got a couple. They're enthusiastic. Didn't I say that with the page of wands? They're enthusiastic. We have their calm. Absolutely, they're calm with the jellyfish. They're in a relaxed energy a lot of the time. <laughs> Dude, that might <laughs> make you irritated too. At the bottom of the deck though, they are reliable, okay? So they do have a reliable energy, okay? So those are some character traits that this person could have coming into your life. So let's go ahead and get into my let's get to know each other deck. And with that innocence, I am getting pile three that there could have been something in their childhood uh, with that innocence we'll see when we get to this it's complicated deck so clear the energy of this deck all right person now let's talk to your person pile three we want to get to know you person what else would you like to tell pile three about yourself they're in the entertainment industry so they could have some of them could have a job in the entertainment industry it doesn't have to be super big it could be big or small okay um, but some of them could work in that industry what else would you like to tell us person they are fashionistas so they like to dress so they dress very well all right so like maybe like going to fashion shows is what i just heard person what else would you like to tell us all around good person and I am getting that pile three I am getting that they are all around good person I don't get bad vibes from this person at all what else would you like to tell us person they are a forward thinker okay so so that could also be why they're trying to uh, find balance maybe they're in this juggle energy all right person we your person ready now okay so let's see works with their hands so they do something with their hands and again we had entertainment energy industry so they could do something with their hands in that industry or for others some of them work with their hands everybody does not have to be in the entertainment industry so take it where it resonates they are a world traveler okay so this person likes to travel their job could take them around the world what else would you like to tell us person they are an air sign aquarius Aquarius, <laughs> Aquarius, <laughs> Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. And if they are not that sign, they can have that somewhere in their chart, or they're just someone who's very intellectual, maybe more logical than emotional. Again, going back to that forward thinker, makes sense with the air sign likes things a certain way yes i would think they do like things a certain way especially with this haughty and this peacock and having all these options they do enjoy romance so that's a beautiful thing okay so they're very romantic and they are tall bottom of the deck they come from a legacy we had entertainment industry so this person could come from something that their family, and again, working with their hands, it could come from something where each generation did it in their family or some type of legacy this person comes from. And again, remember, they were attracted to you. Part of that appeal, pile three, was an empire. Either you have an empire, you could come from a legacy as well, or they see that they can build one with you. All right, so let's go ahead and get some of my what you want to know so we can see what else is going on with this 
person, okay? I just cut to solid as a rock and I like stability. Absolutely, they like stability with that jellyfish, but they said they solid as a rock. I'm getting, you know, if this person does commit to someone, I'm getting that they are solid and loyal because again, I ain't get no sneaky energy. They just may be in a, in a singlehood energy when you meet, you know, entertaining a lot of options and might just be feeling themselves in a little cocky, okay? I was told to shuffle one more time. So let me shuffle one more time. All right, clear the energy of this set. All right, person, we wanna know some more. What else do you wanna tell us? What else you wanna tell pile three? We have, I am a light worker. Look at that there. Okay, now pile three, I told y'all, y'all going through a Kundalini awakening. You guys are gonna activate each other. Your clairvoyance and spiritual gifts in your third eye, psychic abilities are gonna be activated. They're gonna get some type of epiphany and that epiphany is going to be that they are a light worker. I said that they were gonna get an epiphany to their soul, okay? Your secrets are safe with me. That came out in another pile too. So this is a person you're gonna be able to pillow talk with. You guys are gonna be able to share secrets with each other and this person is not going to throw it up in your face or use it against you or tell other people okay what else would you like to tell us person everyone loves to be around them again with that haughty and it's too many jellyfish in the sea that makes sense okay so they do have options look busy be they like to stay busy we did have world travel traveler and work with their hands but also be handy and work around the house i got with that and they have captivating eyes pile three you are going to be drawn in by their eyes however they lack good communication skills now didn't i say over here with this two of cups pile three that you had good communication skills and didn't you also have the communication card over here so that's going to be your strength in this union is you're going to have to do the good communicating and, and help this person communicate should you guys get together because they're saying they lack that a little bit but they're saying they're uncomplicated now although that this person has a chaotic life they feel like they are un <laughs> complicated now again the jellyfish just sit back and kind of relax and stuff so and they also can play like the victim too so they could feel like they're uncomplicated or really be uncomplicated i'm thinking they just feel that because well um what's going on i'm sorry this is the wrong day well what's going on i don't think they're uncomplicated but we about to find out because that's what i was trying to grab look at the person didn't want me to grab an uh-uh new person or, or old person no we gonna get by it's complicated day and we gonna go ahead and see what can make this in oh look at that there what can make it complicated guys we have my heart is still broken and i'm going through a powerful change i just cut to that absolutely going through a powerful change so with my heart is still broken that could be you uh pile three which you tried it okay and going through a powerful change could be them over here or it could be vice versa you going through that powerful change given your clairvoyant abilities are being activated and them their heart is still broken so that's why they're in this haughty energy where they're just entertaining a whole bunch of options okay enjoying all the jellyfish in the sea all right so let's clear the energy of this deck spirit can you tell us what would make this union complicated? What things could make this union complicated? We have, I'm not ready, but I don't want to let you go either. So when you meet this person again, remember I told you, you are in this trident energy, right? And they're in this option energy. So, it, and you have the two of cups where you wanted to offer love, okay? And they're still trying to balance their security, financial security with their physical world and their foundation. So while they're doing all that and they felt feel this mutual love with you right in this union it could be they may not be ready for a full commitment maybe not ready for that marriage union yet but may not want to let you go either so may try to hold on to you it says i thought the grass was greener on the other side so if this is a person from your past you guys I, I was getting where you guys may get together, break up, come back together before it's really solid, okay? So for some of you, person again, with those options may think things are, are, are better on the other side. I'm not really getting a cheating vibe, maybe a, a, a looking, you know, window shopping vibe and may um, think that things are better on the other side. Look, it says I ran because I didn't want to love you. So this person is going to be afraid. Again, they had that epiphany card down here at the bottom right there's so many cards down here i don't even know if i can find it i don't think i can find it they had that epiphany card there you go okay so the epiphany not only to who you are but to who they are 
uh, as a spiritual being and it's gonna make them run so again and that could be again why you in this energy and you tried it pile three they could be in that haughty energy and run from you the minute you wait because you guys are both going through a spiritual awakening a kundalini give me one more spirit of how this might be no okay that's a lot give me one more how this might be complicated spirit I don't know who to trust. This person has trust issues. Again, somebody said they were still heartbroken. So they don't know who to trust. And said you guys were gonna be healing each other. So those are some of the things of why you guys may need to have strength. Why you guys are both going to have to find balance between emotions and the physical world. Bottom of the deck, these feelings make me feel unstable. This person has um, issues with their emotional body. Going back to that innocence. So I believe that there was some childhood trauma in this person that damaged their emotional body when they were younger. And I believe that you guys are coming together to help heal that in that person for them and for you to activate you to your spiritual gifts. I was told to cut to the middle of the deck and we have, I'm going through a powerful change. Didn't I say that already? Absolutely. And I'm walking away from all toxicity, okay? So when you guys are together, you guys are both gonna go through a powerful change, but it's gonna help this person walk away from things that are toxic in their life. So pile three, that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonated. If it did resonate, if you found the information helpful, go ahead and drop me a comment. I love feedback. If you enjoy the vibe and kicking it with your girl, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. I would love for you to join my Divine Being gang. If not, just enjoy the rest of your day, pile three and be on the lookout for more readings from me, okay? Peace, love, and light. Hey, hey, Pile 4. Welcome to your reading. I am so happy the universe allowed us to cross paths. So today, this reading is about what's next in love for you. And you guys chose this gorgeous gold apple, okay? So what I'm getting with that is, I'm getting this is going to be like some type of royal bond uh, between the two. Uh, doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be royalty. I am getting that some of you guys may have some royal lineage uh, in past life. But what I'm getting is just, this is just going to be something that's going to be solid, unbreakable, you know something that stands the test of time you know a gold does not rust okay gold is something that's very valuable you know so this is going to be something that you guys are both going to value so this is how it's going to work your energy is going to be represented over here pile four and your person over here and let me just say like pile three this is a very very powerful union one and two you guys have a lot of cards <laughs> pile three and four had the most cards out of all four piles now if you feel like your energy is more represented over here about four than here go ahead and switch it if you feel that neither one is representing your energy then you may want to pick another pile and if none of the piles <laughs> represent you then this just might not be your reading for this time okay so now let's go ahead and get into it now first let's do the tarot now the tarot is representing uh, the energy of the union and we have the four of swords with the uh, three of pentacles and the knight of cups all right beautiful beautiful energy so what this is telling me especially with the four of swords is that this is going to be a union you guys find great peace together with you guys are going to uh, love to retreat from the world and just be in each other's company it is going to be a union where you guys are going to keep boundaries up from like the outside world. You guys are gonna be very protective of the union and of course it's going to be healing for each other, okay? With the Three of Pentacles, you guys are definitely going to want to work together. It's definitely going to be teamwork in this union. You guys will collaborate. I do see that maybe you guys will have a business together. Now, you guys may bicker over who has authority and control, especially in the workplace. So go ahead and, and pay attention to that when this happens but overall with all of this light right here definitely positive vibes definitely is going to be positive teamwork and you guys will communicate now with the knight of cups both of you guys are going to follow your heart when it comes to this union both of you guys are going to be highly attracted to each other you guys are going to be willing to offer love to each other and you guys are just not going to let your thoughts 
like cloud your judgment of following your heart. You guys are pre prepared for this, whether you know it or not, your souls are preparing you guys for this union. Also, when you guys get together, it's going to prepare you guys for whatever mission you guys have in life. You guys also could be in a self-reflecting energy prior to meeting each other because that's what the four swords represents as well. All right, be a little exhausted, could, a little, could be a little burnt out in life or in love prior to meeting each other. Cause you know, the four swords comes right after that three of swords, that heavy heartache. Now let's get into over here with your energy pile four. This is my mood swings Oracle. And you are represented by the penguin skating on ice. And this is called surface emotions. Okay. <laughs> so prior to you meeting this person, file four, you are going to be like skating over your emotions. You could have maybe a little cold heart, but you know, penguins, you know, like to have fun. See, it looks like this penguin is surfing. So it's not like you are in a bitter energy where you're angry. It's just that you're really not trying to feel too deep. You could have been coming out of a period of chaos. So you're trying to adapt, you know, you're trying to find your spirituality, looking more towards positive changes in your life and family, but you have the power to handle any situation that is presented to you. And the penguin is just a spirit animal to encourage you and to let you know that all is not lost. All of your hard work will pay off, okay? So you're gonna be in the energy of surface emotions prior to meeting this person. Now, your person, okay? Power four is represented by this couple of lions. And I did look up to see if a male lions could not have manes, and they do. Cause, so this could be either same sex, because they do look like lioness, or it, you, you know, it could be a man and a female. And this is my Mood Swings Oracle Synergy. So your person is going to be in the energy of synergy in the ebb and flow with the universe definitely utilizing universal laws definitely tapping into their spiritual gifts definitely tapping into that sacral chakra getting deep into their emotions and figuring out who they are creatively now they will possess a lot of leadership in this union a lot of strength and a assertiveness okay a lot of personal power and I also feel like they will be very territorial over you will have a lot of positive self-confidence but may try to dominate in the work situation again going back to this three of pentacles where you guys may have a little bit of some discord now in the middle you guys are represented by these birds I'm gonna try to pay attention to something before and I'll get into it later there is a bird here there is a bird here and there is a bird here. We have three birds. And after I finish talking about this, I'll explain that because that's something all in itself. But this one is called merging. But you guys are both going to be in the energy, in the, the vibration to come together. So you guys are going to, again, have boundaries, not only with each other as you guys are coming into union, but to protect this union. You won't let others come to disrupt uh, this union at all. You guys are definitely going to work together. You guys will definitely self-sacrifice for this union. Also, with these birds being white, I, I find that this is going to be pure. A lot of honesty in this, okay? Also, a lot of communication with all of that blue. Now, let's go back to the birds. With the birds, birds mean elevation, okay? They mean enlightenment, all right? They mean wisdom, hope, they mean positive change. So all of these things, not only are you guys experiencing prior to meeting each other, you guys are going to experience that together. And also birds represent light workers. So I do believe that both of you guys are light workers and that's another reason why you guys are coming together. Now, these cards down below, because remember, this is the energy, the animals represent the energy prior to you guys meeting. This is representing the energy of the overall union. And now we're gonna get into the connecting energy. What's going to draw you to your person? Now these three are in the middle and I'm gonna get to them, okay? Over here, you are represented by the ego, pile four, number 12. Number 12 is the angel of transformation. With this card, it's time for you to soar. You are going to be in the energy of soaring, in the energy of pursuing your goals. You are going to be in a leadership energy, very passionate about the things that you want, coming out of a survival energy though, okay? But you're standing in your truth and your divinity. And this is what's going to draw you to this person now, 
egos allow their heart to guide them. It's one thing. Another thing that I learned about egos is egos mate for life, okay? They are in search of their soul mate. They also handle life challenges very well, going back to this penguin and the service energy. So you are in the energy of searching for your soul mate or your soul is drawing in your soul mate. That's the vibration that you will be putting out in the universe prior to meeting this person and that's what's going to draw you over to them. Now, over here, and also let me just let you know, you'll be very grounded with all of that red. You will know how to communicate effectively with the blue. And again, with this ego and all of that pure white light, definitely will be letting your light shine within. Again, standing in your truth and divinity, okay? And also egos, you know, they circle around, you know, before they bounce on their prey. So you are definitely observant and definitely watching out for those that are coming towards you very protective energy over here over here your person number 29 the seedling now 29 is the angel of building trust in yourself and they're in the energy of planting seeds and wanting to harvest and birth something they are also in the energy of narrating their own life and do you see all of that beautiful white light so definitely our planting seeds of something that's positive again you guys are both light workers but something that they want to manifest in this world and that's what's going to draw them to you they are definitely paying attention to their thoughts so what I'm getting is that they're manifesting because they're represented as the couple they're manifesting their soulmate your person okay and your soul is hearing the calling and that's what's going to lead you guys both because you both are going to follow your heart you guys are both ready for love in the middle we have number 36 and angel number 36 is all about focusing on your spirituality. The white light in both of you guys, again, I said your light workers are going to draw you guys to each other. You guys are both soulmates. You guys have the lover's card, which is angel number 21, which is all about the angel of independence. You guys are gonna find great freedom in this union. Freedom that you guys have, the independence that you both have on your own is also drawing you to each other, but your souls are calling each other. I believe that you and this person meet in the 5D. Uh, in your dream space, somehow either you see a flash of, of someone in your third eye, even if you don't recognize that person's face. I believe that you guys are connecting somehow in the 5D. It's definitely a spiritual connection. You guys merge together, you are going to merge as one. With that moon there, I'm getting that you both are going to, what is it spirit? Mmm, beautiful. You guys are both going to not only be able to see each other's hidden selves, that shadow self of each other's what Spirit just said, you guys are going to be able to help each other work through that. Your souls are calling, you guys are meant, you guys are destined to be together. And then with the Phoenix, which is angel number 27, I forgot what angel number 27 is, but I know that breaks down to a nine, which is all about achievement. But you see this Phoenix, that means that you guys both went through some type of great transformation because all these birds means transformation too. You guys went through a great transformation, a divine feminine, divine masculine energy, went through great transformation to merge together. And you guys are rising now from that. And you guys are rising with so much passion, so much creativity, so much inspiration to complete your mission. So that's the energy connecting you guys. So now let's get into the appeal. This is my deck I created and it's going to let us know what the appeal is that's going to draw you guys. And then... After that, we are going to see what energies could influence the union before we jump into tarot. And I do have some decks out so that we can get to know this person, like character traits, and uh, let's get to know each other and what you want to know. So we will delve deep how far into this. So let's clear the energy of this deck. And so far, it's looking very beautiful. Okay, so spirit, can you tell, look at that there. Look at that. Y'all already ready. What pile four, what's going to be the appeal that's going to attract pile four to their person? And we have elegant. So this person is has an elegant appeal to them. Could be very refined, could like elegant places, the finer things in life, but just well-mannered. Very distinguished is what I'm getting. Spirit, what's another appeal that's gonna attract pile four to their person? Options, I think that came out in pile <laughs> three, two. You are going to be attracted to your person because they have options, because they are desired by a lot of people. Not only that, they know how to handle their emotions. And again, with this person, I do believe that they are able to juggle and handle things in life. All right, Spear, what's um, one more appeal that's going to attract pile four 
to their person. Oh, we got two. We have Milkshake and Tranquil. Didn't I say with this Four of Swords that it was going to be a sanctuary, very peaceful for you guys? You guys are going to retreat from the world together? Absolutely. They're going to have a very tranquil and peaceful vibe, Pal Four, and you're going to be drawn into that. May like to go on vacation and retreat again, unplug from the world when things are too hectic, okay? You see, you see them too far? I'm going to grab them, y'all. We have Milkshake. So they may have a little jiggle with they wiggle and you might like that and you know a nice curvaceous body whether uh, masculine or feminine but what i'm getting is again with this too with the lovers i'm getting that you guys just feel like home when you meet this person that's going to be an appeal it's going to be feeling nostalgia okay but it's going to be a good comforting feeling and these two we have empire and fun look at that there also going to be attracted to this person pal four because you see an empire with them or they may already have one but you can see building a firm foundation building a home building businesses leaving a legacy and they're fun they're playful they're not too serious so let's see what their appeal is going to be to you pile four all right so can you tell me what's the appeal that this person is going to be drawn to pile four for lifesaver look at that there so they're going to look at you like a lifesaver i did say that you guys could be coming out of period of chaos again this person's in the energy of synergy in the energy of trying to birth something so maybe when they meet you you're going to help them birth that somehow they're going to look at you and feel like you are a lifesaver maybe they gave up on love and they met you and then bam you know there was a renewal okay again going back to that phoenix maybe you awaken some spark in them come on through spirit all right what's another appeal spirit that's going to attract power force to their person and look at this there survivor and Kirby didn't I say somebody had some jiggle with that wiggle come on through spirit so they're gonna be attracted to you look at that y'all marrying each other with this milkshake I came with y'all look at this so you got a shape power for whether it's masculine or feminine that they are going to be attracted to I heard highly attracted and that you are a survivor again going through those challenges with the penguin skating on them emotions you know not letting nothing knock you off your square come on through okay they're going to be attracted to that I was told to get the bottom of the deck and they're going to be attracted that you are a bookworm you are somebody who's very studious who loves to learn whether you're in school or not you just you you have a a, a great thirst for knowledge okay and they're gonna love that enthusiasm that you get when you learn something new so that is beautiful I think I'm excited about this pile and pile three had me excited I think it's the energy because the energy is so intense so let's get some things of what's going to influence the relationship I did see commitment a minute ago now I see memory lane to have several seats so it could be some people might want to hate on this or that could be y'all telling each other because I do get y'all might have like playful fights <laughs> going back to that three of pentacles <laughs> And you guys, you know, working together. Because I get, like, you know, especially it might be a little power struggle. I do get that. I get it's not going to be too hectic, okay? Clear the energy of this deck. All right, Spirit, can you tell me three energies that could affect and influence Pile four in this relationship. Look at this family. So family could be a major influence in this union. I'm getting two things with that. One, you guys will have a beautiful family together. But with me going back to, I just saw in my head again, have several seats. Could be family that might try to intervene in this union or might try to put their two cents in or be too involved. Again, going back to you guys will retreat from that. I do get a protective energy that neither one of y'all is going to let that fly. I do feel like that could come in and could be an influence. We'll see when we get to tarot. Sarah, can you give me another influence that could affect pile four's relationship distance you guys could be at a distance when you guys meet each other or there could be some great barrier in the way that could be preventing this beautiful union at the start or sometime in in the union okay so maybe work takes you guys away from each other a lot you're gonna have to try to find ways to manage time that could be a factor as well give me one more spirit emergency so with emergency let me get one more with emergency it could be maybe there's a lot of little fires that start that I'm getting that could be prevented but maybe you guys have to put out a lot of fires or there's just a lot of um, chaos trying to come into your world with that emergency again we'll clarify that the other thing is just that once you guys get with each other it's just going to be a rush to merge and to just get this thing popping okay give me one more spirit we have oh, we got two rsvp 
RSVP and first aid. So with RSVP, that lets me know that divine timing is at work. So spirit is in your angels and the universe is bringing this together. Again, you guys are going to be drawn to each other. This one's trying to birth something, harvest something. They're planting seeds to have a firm foundation. Again, they're in the energy of synergy. So I do believe they are working to have a firm foundation to offer to their partner. They're drawing in their soulmate. You feel that call. You're in the energy of soaring. You're in the energy of accomplishing your goals. You know what I'm saying? You just came out of period of chaos or just I'm not feeling that grounded, but you are now skating on them emotions. Come on through power four. Okay. All right. And then we have first aid going back to this four. It's going to be healing to the both of you guys. When you guys, you know, go through things, even from the outside, you guys are going to find that sanctuary within each other. I just saw you guys embracing each other. There's going to be something very calming about when you guys hold each other and it's it doesn't matter if you're laying down it doesn't matter if you're standing up i see one person taller than the other the other person resting their face in um, the chest whether it's masculine or feminine same sex doesn't matter but once this person wraps their arms around you and yours are around them there's something that happens i'm just going right back to this synergy it's something that's going to happen that's going to heal y'all and you guys are not going to talk this is something you guys are going to love to do it almost giving me meditation it's almost like a form of kundalini or even kama sutra very very healing you guys are very in sync with each other so let's go ahead and get some tarot on it pile four and let's see what else is going on then we're gonna get a couple affirmations and we're gonna get into these message decks okay and let's see what their characteristics are and what they want to tell you it sounds like a beautiful union that spirit is putting together Clear the energy of this deck so let's see what's going on so spirit with this family can you clarify family for me clarify family we have the six of swords with this family with the six of swords that's all about you leaving things in the past that were burdensome to you that caused you mental anguish and so with that family again i told you i got some type of vibe that family might try to interfere so if you guys have family that was meddlesome prior to meeting each other or in this union you guys are going to be moving away from that you guys are not going to allow that to happen with that sun shining on the face you guys only want positivity around this union you guys want harmony you want friendship you want um, dynamic relationship is what i heard okay all right spirit what's going on with this distance look at this we have the eight of wands and eight of wands is a card of travel could be a card of distance so again distance will be a factor you guys might have to improve your communication that could be something but this is also about things moving fast again with that distance you guys could initially start off as you know separation from each other as far as place and location but could quickly want to speedily move that forward because the eight of wands is about that too quick momentum and action give me one more with this eight of wands eight of cups another eight eight is all about power and authority so again with that distance you guys are distancing yourselves from things that you guys have put too much energy into this is all about walking away from things that no longer serve you so that you can move to a, a higher level so you guys are distancing yourselves with the six of swords and me going back to those boundaries you guys have strong boundaries in this and that eight of wands trying to move your union forward okay come on through spirit that's probably that emergency and then with this family causing little fires that's what i got right there come on through look at that there queen of wands a lot of passion a lot of fire a lot of inspiration and creativity in this union so with the emergency in that queen of wands i can get i get two things with that there could be a queen of wands energy coming to try to interfere in this union when you guys are together they could be jealous could be trying to control your person just could be trying to put some malicious intent to lure them the other thing that i'm getting with this emergency is you guys are just gonna have so many bright ideas you know what i'm saying you guys are going to be so ambitious wanting to just accomplish everything under the sun to get there okay it's very cheerful with this queen of wands queen of wands energy is very cheerful do you see all that light very welcoming to each other very passionate to each other absolutely what's going on with this give me one more with this queen of wands what's going on with this queen of wands look ten of pentacles what i say absolutely you guys are are ambitiously birthing wealth birthing a, a wonderful family this card is all about having 
fame and prosperity, luxury all around you and not only around you, but wanting to share it with others. And the fact that that's going over emergency, I'm getting that when you guys get together, okay? You guys, one with this queen of wands, again, is highly attracted to each other. You guys are gonna be each other's muses, very inspirational. Again, going back to that three of pentacles, you guys, I can see the empire. You guys are going to build so much together, getting that 10 of pentacles, okay? And it's gonna come fast. Going back with that, that eight of wands, that's that emergency. It's gonna come fast. That's why spirit has a specific date. That's why you guys are doing this work behind each other. And I almost want to say, if you were drawn to pile three, watch pile three, because I kind of feel like this might be a continuation to pile three. If you are not, that's okay. But for some who may have been drawn to pile three, because I got a feeling this might be the other half of that, okay? All right, what's going on with this RSVP spirit? What's going on with this RSVP Knight of Pentacles? Absolutely, this is divine timing, but with this RSVP, you guys are going to be very truthful. She is holding up a flag of truth. The Knight of Pentacles is somebody who's very slow, that plans. So this is something that spirit has planned for you guys, and this union could have taken some time, but you guys will be very honest with each other when you guys come into union. The communication will be very honest. You guys will be very brave. Again, very protective over each other. Swift movement. I got a feeling once you guys come together, things are going to progress very fast. Give me one more with this Knight of Pentacles. We have the Four of Wands. Four of Wands is the Twin Flame card. This is all about celebration. This could be marriage, which I do see that is leading there. But this is just about building something together and you guys are going to do that. And when I look at this card and she's just staring at the sun or that bright light I I'm getting that you guys just feel home with each other this is a wish fulfillment for the both of you guys I get so many positive vibes off of that four of wands that foundation is unbreakable I'm trying to tell you with going back to this gold apple standing the test of time can't rest I'm trying to tell you and people gonna be envious of that power four absolutely envious of that okay because you know four not only is about that it's, it's about y'all being stable okay y'all are going to be so stable together what's going on with this first day look at this page of sword look at that bright light that first day that healing light that's what that is you guys are going to be able to shine that light within again white light again look at all that beautiful light that's radiating in this union pile four okay you guys are going to learn from each other you guys are going to teach each other teach each other how to heal oh my gosh and not only learn and teach each other how to heal that's what y'all gonna give to the world how to heal you guys are going to be an example to the world come on through spirit i just saw the six of wands in my head look at this hangman hey, going back to retreating you guys came out of a stuck stagnant energy came out of that hangman energy where you felt like you couldn't see things correctly this is all about looking at things in a different perspective changing your soul turning it upside down so whatever you thought the situation was or how you saw it to see it completely the opposite and that's what you guys are going to teach each other when you guys come together i was told to look at the bottom of the deck i freaking can't with y'all with the lovers twice i can't this is your twin or your soulmate for sure for sure you guys are destined to be together and this is all about choosing to love each other okay choosing to give each other your heart following your heart not your head trusting taking the risk on this love Spirit, can you go ahead and clarify bookworm for me? What's going on? Look at that, King of Pentacles. Oh, was that the one I was supposed to? No, I wasn't supposed to clarify that, but since I did, let, let's go ahead and put that on there. So with the King of Pentacles, King of Pentacles is somebody who has great material wealth, somebody who's grounded, somebody who has a great foundation. And this king right here wants to be generous and wants to share his wealth, okay? So that could be too, you guys, this bookworm, uh, and that goes back to what they're attracted to you about is you've learned... <laughs> how to amass success in your life okay come on through bottom of the deck eight of pentacles this will be hard work for the both of you guys but this is all about having perseverance going ahead and and going to master and achieve your goals getting to that mastery level and i do believe when you guys get together pile four you guys will achieve that mastery level together i truly do believe that so let's go ahead and get one of these crystal advice cards this is going to just be some advice from spirit of how you can be on the right vibration to attract this beautiful love into your life powerful because this is beautiful
Eight of four. I mean, I just keep staring at that King of Pentacles and I just think this is going to be a very grounded and intellectual union with a lot of emotions. You better come on through and sexual passion. You better come on through. I mean, that's a win-win all the way around the board. Come on through, spirit. All right, let's see. Sorry for the noise on the glass table, y'all. Clear the energy of this deck. All right, spirit, what advice is most beneficial for pile four right now? This one wants to stick out. This is the Lemurian Quartz. Practice patience. Pile four with that Knight of Pentacles. Practice patience not only prior to coming to this, especially if you've been in an energy where you've been looking for love or wanting love, maybe haven't had a real significant relationship or stable relationship in your life in a while, and you feel you know that soul is calling, you know somebody's out there for you, go ahead and have some patience. Spirit saying, it's divine time, it's coming. What else? Clear quartz. Get crystal clear. And I want you to pay attention. Do you see that these are both like clear? So one thing I'm getting is to clear your energy. Pile four. Because it says get crystal clear on what you want. So if you do have um, an idea of what you want your soulmate to be, uh, get crystal clear. If there's any past hurts that have hurt you that may be tainting your vision, that could be blocking this union, go ahead and clear that out so that you draw this person into you, okay? Or at least be on the right alignment because you're already drawing them to you. Amazonite, night, loosen your grip. So if you're trying to control the situation, going back to the surface emotion, maybe you are a little afraid to jump back into love, okay? So if that is the case, Spirit is just asking you to loosen your grip. Let them go ahead and take care of this. They are guiding this. Excuse me, somebody's trying to block my throat chakra. Give me one more, Spirit. We have Agate, get back into balance. So it's time to get grounded, all right? If you are feeling that you're a little off-centered or um, just are not sure where things are going in your life, you're just saying, just get back into balance, meditate, go within, you have all the answers. Everything is flowing properly. The ego also let me know that you are on the right path. So don't doubt whatever guidance that you feel you're getting from spirit, whatever intuitive nudges that you feel, keep on following that, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get an affirmator, affirmation for you, Pop One. We're going to get in these messages, okay? So, Spear, what affirmator? Oracle card is most beneficial for pile four right now. We have no judgment. Absolutely. So before I even read this, this is saying don't judge yourself, pile four. Don't judge your person coming in. If you guys have different paths or have had challenges, be open. Again, you guys are going to follow your heart. Don't let anybody judge your union with this person either. Again, going back to that family and maybe some outside interference. It says, I release myself from any and all judgments. I find my inner critic call it into my office and tell it to take a vacation. As it leaves the room, I let out a sigh and begin to enjoy the joy of simply being. Who hired that guy anyway? Don't be hard on yourself. Know that that just made you stronger. Pile four, bottom of the deck, personal growth. I can't, yes, absolutely personal growth. And it says, as I move toward greater consciousness, I feel old thoughts and habits falling away. Y'all are both going through a transformation. Prior to meeting, like training wheels on a bike, they help me get to where I am. But now I can ride. I don't need those slow and crummy wheels, except when I'm making bike analysis. And again, with that six of swords, you guys are walking away from things, not only prior to meeting, but in this union. Y'all not letting nothing mess this up. I love it. I love that protective energy. So let's go ahead and get some character traits of your person, Pile 4. Let's see what type of character traits they embody, okay? Clear the energy of this deck. All right, Spirit, can you give us some character traits of Pile 4's person? We have family-oriented. goes back to that family. Absolutely family-oriented. Going to be very devoted to the family that you guys have, whether it's blended or you guys create one together. Doesn't matter if it's children, plant babies, fur babies, don't matter. Very devoted, very family-oriented. We'll make time for that. Unpretentious. They don't have too many hang-ups, all right? They don't feel like certain things have to be a certain way or feel that they are too high and mighty even if they have a lot of great wealth or um, success and status that's beautiful modest what I just say so they are a person that doesn't like to flaunt the things that they have okay maybe modest in their dress and their demeanor very humble all right love that uh, give me another one they are extrovert so they do like to go out and have fun they are very sociable they don't mind talking to new people okay their heart is open to new opportunities and situations and they are smart going back to that bookworm very smart that's why they're drawn to you bottom of the deck they are a leader absolutely they are a leader with that uh lion spirit you better say it spirit they are a leader let's go ahead and get to let's get to know each other this is another deck that i create and we're going to see more about the person so this time we're 
gonna talk to the person, okay? So person, you ready to tell us about yourself? Cause uh, us power fours wanna know, you know what I'm saying? I'm putting myself in y'all group power four, even though I don't know what power I'm gonna pick yet, but <laughs> don't put me here, okay? <laughs> she understand. All right, so power four person, what you wanna tell us? We wanna get to know you, what you wanna tell us? I believe in fate. One day in that synergy, look at that. Didn't I say that you know, I'm utilizing them universal laws? Absolutely. They believe in fate. They are trying to draw their soulmate in. Look at this there. Extremely photogenic. So they look good, powerful. Mm, extremely photogenic. Okay, yes. What we got? Enjoys the outdoors. Could be a little rugged, okay? Might like to go camping. Might like to just do outdoor activities. I'm getting a thrill seeker, okay? Someone who might be a little survivalist. Love that. What else you want to tell us, person? Enjoys romance. Love that. Again, with the lovers all there, absolutely. Very romantic vibes. Will shower you with gifts, I heard. And surprises. You could, like, expect little notes. Okay, come on through, person. What else? Um, can overthink sometimes. Okay. Now that goes back to the four swords too, because that could be a, a card of overthinking and needing some time to rest. So that could be one thing about them that you might be able to help them with that they don't have to overthink, um, analyze things. And they are very direct. Okay. Did I say honesty? So you will know where you stand with them. They will not be sugarcoating things. If you're a person who might be a little sensitive, pile for, then just know that they are very direct. So, like I said, if you are sensitive, you know, just let this person know, like, hey, <laughs> your words hurt, okay? And maybe they can, uh, you know, tame that. But I don't believe that this person would ever be trying to say anything uh, to hurt you or be malicious to you. Quite the opposite. Uh, I feel like they would be very protective if somebody <laughs> did that to you, even though they're very direct. They'd be wanting to hurt somebody, I feel. <laughs> Attack is what I just heard. Okay, person. All right. So this is my what you want to know deck. And let's see some more things before I let you go, pal, for Clear the energy of this deck. All right, person. What else you want to tell us? Oh, person is ready. I am a widower. Oh, my. Okay, so this person, if they were married, lost their spouse, okay? So they are a widower. Oh, what else? I can be very persistent. So when they see, uh, of course, with this lion energy, they see it, they go on after it. Very ambitious. They are very hard working. Absolutely. That's why they're attracted to you about that empire. Did not see, say a thrill seeker. Look at that there. They definitely are a thrill seeker. An extrovert. Look at that. They are the life of the party. Did not say they're very sociable. Okay. So you're going to have a lot of fun with them. Going back to that fun card. Give me one more. I light up a room. Absolutely with that white light. Definitely light up a room and I'll take these two. Warm and giving. I said that with the king of pentacles. Very generous. No person. We ain't taking all that. That's just too much. And great sense of humor. Okay. So here, I'll just cut to the middle. This person, like one more. They are high value. They are absolutely high value. Pile four again, going back to that elegant, and they like high value people in their life. Going back to those boundaries, being very protective, not letting family or anything come into this union. So pile four. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it gave you some insight and clarity into what's coming next for you in love. If you found this reading beneficial, informational, and you resonated, go ahead and drop me a comment. I love feedback. If you enjoyed the vibe and kicking it with your girl, go ahead and like and subscribe. I would love for you to join my Divine Being Gang, okay? And if not, just enjoy your day, Power 4, and be on the lookout for more readings from me. Peace, love, and light. Well, guys, we're at the end of your reading. I hope you enjoyed the content. If so, please like and subscribe and be on the lookout for my next video. Peace, love, and light.